defense made a motion for a mistrial. Prosecutor was up to some fuckery. Potentially damaging evidence, no basis for it. The judge specifically said, do not ask that question. Do not use that as evidence. She walked right down the path and asked the question. It may be over on Tuesday morning. Batman Bruce Wayne bitch snitch. Gerald Brooks, your constitution does not apply to me because I'm a sovereign citizen, a traveler on the land. I'm the Moorish Empire or whatever. Because there's something absurd. If you want to be a sovereign citizen, just do yourself a favor. Go to YouTube here and binge it. Every thought of sovereign citizen has ever been before. Find me one that one. Right. Don't go down this. It's not the parent. Don't have time for stupidity. Some clever dick on the internet didn't find the great loophole in all of the world's laws. Bitch snitch. God dang, you're right. God dang, you're right. Traveler on the land. God dang, you're right. Moorish Empire. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just glad you're doing it here with me on this little old channel I like to call Legal Vices, um, because this is where we enjoy our legal vices, whatever they happen to be. It's a place where we hang out, we have a good time, we, we have the greatest chat on the internet, and it's just grown by leaps and bounds, due mainly to the, the subject of our, of our conversation today. In just a minute, we're going to bring up our super amazing, wonderful, special guest. But before we do, just very, very, very quickly get uh, some you know, housekeeping done here. Hit the like and subscribe. We got 500 people here already, 200 likes. That means like 300 of you haven't done your job. Just, just dive down there and do it. If there, I know you haven't had anything to like yet, but I promise you, you'll like something before we're done. So just get it out of the way here right now. And if you have subscribed to the channel, just double check to make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube just likes to unsubscribe people for some reason or other, unilaterally, without your input. And if you haven't subscribed, I would deeply, deeply appreciate it if you do me the honor of, of giving me a shot, hitting that subscribe button. It costs you nothing. You just have to click it and never worry about it again. And when you're done, make sure you take our like and subscribe poll. It's a stupid little poll we put up every day just to remind you to hit the like and subscribe button. Today's poll is, uh, we're going to make a movie about this. What would we, what should we title the movie? What should the title of the movie be? Uh, your first choice is Judge Grudge and the Tortoise Queen. Second title is uh, Septic Boy in the Swamp of Despair. Your third choice would be Attack of the Stripper Preacher. And the fourth choice is the 40 Faces of Lynette from Mars. Those are your choices. Uh, we'll check back in an hour or so and see what y'all think. Uh, really quickly, coming up tomorrow, every Thursday, we do a retro trial here. We've been following the uh, O.J. Simpson trial for about the last year and a half. We're wrapping it up with closing arguments tomorrow. Uh, so join for that. 
it's a fun filled day. It's more of a mystery science theater 3000 deal where we'd sort of comment and, and uh, make fun of the uh, prosecution and the defense where they need to be made fun of. And then on Friday, it's our chill stream. We call it just, you know, you know, F it Friday, where we just sit back and we just have, we have fun. We have a huge panel of guests on. We've got a great panel lined up so far. Uh, if any of you are familiar with the people we've got lined up, you're not going to want to miss it. It's a pan- it, it goes as long as either, you know, the, the super chats keep, it, it's a griftathon. Let's be honest. It's a griftathon. You know, uh, <laughs> it's just a pure unadulterated griftathon. We get it out one day of the month, so we don't have to do it the rest of the month, but uh, it, it goes as long as uh, my liver or your, or your money hold up, but we've got, from the Law Tube community, Danny on direct. Uh, we've got uh, Steph the Alter Nerd. She's fantastic. Law Tube Sean, uh, potentially criminal. We've got influencer Lauren De Laguna. Uh, that Star Wars girl, Anna. Nick Nick Starro, trial lawyer. we got comedian Lila Hart. Runkle, Ian Runkle from Runkle of the Bailey. Our very own Mod Flux from House of Flux. Ozzy Overlord will be there. Uh, Moxie Dame, Surly Durley, a.k.a. Jess. Law Lady 579. Talk with Sally will be there. MG Law will be there. And more. It, it, it just goes on for hours and hours and hours. So join us for that starting 8 p.m. Friday Eastern time. Uh, that, I guess that's kind of it. That's what's going to that's what's going to take us through the rest of the week. So. We've got some some fantastic guests that are awake very, very early for people to work very, very late at night. Uh, so without further ado, as they say in uh, in France or some parts of Eastern Canada, let's bring up our, our spe- super special, super wonderful guests. It's the Hales. What's up? Excuse us while we wipe the crust out yeah. of our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who wrote that song, I Love the Turtle Lady, because that's Um, husband number eight. (laughs) That is actually from uh, from a a movie that's done by the same guys that did Spinal Tap, uh, Christopher Guest, called Best in Show. Uh, The the character is is Harlan. He collects uh, like. But you know, hound dogs and shows them at dog shows, and he, he's just talking about a about a, a girl he met at the fair once, and they wrote a song. It's called "Turtle Woman, Please Beware." Uh, <laughs> he don't know what he got himself into. <laughs> And I, I was just, I was sitting here about three days ago thinking, and suddenly that that song popped into my mind. And why haven't I been thinking about this for the last week? Awesome. <laughs> so now I've just added it. Oh my gosh! I'm so happy that, and, and just pleased that you guys would would join here. And, and you know, I know it's early for you guys because, like me, you get burn the burn the midnight oil doing your stuff. Sometimes a little bit too late. Believe it or not, I mean, you you probably know more doing YouTube, but there are many nights there's no sleep whatsoever, just yeah. up editing and working on social media media and comments and. But well, um, channels yeah, your size would normally have a small army, a small cadre of people doing things for them. But you're you're still a two person show by and large. Well, we do have very good employees as well. So so we're oh, really making work harder than well, <laughs> we're not. We've got good people surrounding us. And frankly, we could not do what we do without those people. No. And so while while the youtube aspect the editing and all the social media we handle that um they they make our lives easier by handling other things and again we we could never ever do what we do without their help it just it, it would never happen there's not enough time in the day or night well and, when you, and you do so many things other than just sit in court quietly <laughs> but that I just added that to my resume. So when when the judge when the judge grudge says you no longer are allowed to be on YouTube, I I have my resume it now says well I I am very good at sitting in court quietly, other under other skills. That's, and the crazy part about the whole YouTube thing. Did you know he has his own YouTube channel? <laughs> I heard that the other day, and I was like I didn't want to believe it, and I haven't. I haven't gone there yet. Uh, I would assume he's taken it down, hasn't he? I haven't checked this morning, but the last time I checked was probably two weeks ago. It was still up. Oh no, that really, that really, really makes me want to go. And I'm still. I the interesting thing is, I have a friend who actually attended the university where he was uh, adjunct professoring at the time he was doing it, and really? I'm trying. And and my friend would actively 
adjust his schedule so that he didn't have to take a class from him. And I'm I'm tr- I'm still trying to convince him to come on and burn some bridges with stories. I could, I could <laughs> see that being one of those professors that students intentionally try to dodge. I, yeah. Uh, apparently, yeah. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to get him to burn some bridges and come on and tell some stories. Man, uh, that would be good. <laughs> we're still working on it. We're, we're still trying. Oh, the other sure. thing, oh, District God. Eight. So w- w- District Eight is the judicial district. Uh, they have their own YouTube channel as well. One of the judges is, I'm looking for it right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it, but so, we, we found it in the past. One of the judges is on there singing. Singing. I'll zoom ya. I'll zoom ya. I'll zoom ya. And I'm just oh, no. I cannot believe this. It was the chief judge singing. The boss man. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, uh, Zoom, Zoom is such a curse on humanity. <laughs> it, 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 nothing good happens on Zoom ever. Uh, yeah, but oh, geez. Oh, by the way, but people, before we get going, I, you know, super chats are starting to come in, and uh, let me let me read these real quick, and then I'll, I'll, I'll. We have Positive Life Force One is the newest member of the Clean and Sober Crew. Thank you very much, Positive Life Force. Appreciate that. And been there, done that with a big ten dollar. Says hails, yeah. Yeah, and what a, I mean, seriously, what a what a, what a great people! You just send them an email, and they go, "Yeah, sure, we'll come on your your stupid little channel, and entertain the masses for you." And I, I deeply appreciate that. Uh, Jack's mom, what's up, Jack's mom? The Hales and everyone they surround themselves with are hard workers, and not only hard workers. We were just talking about this backstage before we start. Fun, fun employee. I like that. Yeah, we're not unemployed. We're fun employed. <laughs> And we, we were talking about this for a minute backstage, and I know I've mentioned it here before. The you know, the whole what the Hales community are some great, great people. And we, we were just talking about how we, normally if some idiot like me jumps into the middle of some story and I mean frankly grifts off of it. I mean, you know, listen, let, let's call it what it is. <laughs> but it's like, yeah, you make one mistake and you're just dogpiled on by thousands of rabid fans who are trying to crush you because you're an ignorant, know nothing that that has no business being here. But your your supporters and your followers that have joined here and I mean it's been like four thousand new subscribers in the past six days. No. Wow, have all, have all been. Such... We would like to get that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you got them all. Share a little bit, please. My, <laughs> but they've all been so helpful. And if you say I I don't understand this, you get the emails, you get the chats, you get the DMs explaining all of this dark lore behind things. Yeah, and not not to toot our own horn, but we do have an amazing you YouTube community. The ones that do support us. But obviously, what you'll have the haters, so um, the, those may be coming forward soon. So just to give you a heads up, I've only yeah, had I, one, and it was it was a nice, it was a weirdly nice hater. It was, I think it was the first or the second day I started covering this. Someone said, "You're one of the most annoying people on YouTube," and that was it. <laughs> I thought, well, as as far as hate mail goes, that was pretty good. <laughs> Probably Marla Hughes. The detectives were asking us. They're digging into Marla Hughes right now. So, but you know what? I probably shouldn't have said that. Yeah, you're. Uh, oh my God. You guys are, you guys edit that part so out, Jeff. You, you're going to have to edit that part out. Can you edit that out? <laughs> probably not, unless you're, unless you're serious. <laughs> oh. Now, look, geez, these super chats are just, I don't even ask for them. But hey, you know what? I mean, I, how I became involved in all of this was I was sitting here minding my own business, flipping through Twitter, and, and Larry, DUI guy, posts this thing about a, a former judge making a bar complaint about him. And I think, well, I, I didn't care about what I just said. Well, that's a stupid thing for any judge to say to anybody or a lawyer for that matter. If it's true, he should be ashamed of himself. And I put it down for two days and I, I, I saw him do the thing with you. And then I think it was, it was Megan Fox that starts sending me messages at two o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. Oh my God. You've got to start covering this. You've got to start covering this. And then I made the connection. All of, all of this is connected. And I didn't want to be the bandwagoner until it got really crazy. And I felt left out if I didn't join. <laughs> so I, so I, I jumped on the bandwagon and, 
I originally went in with the idea of let's find out what's wrong with the judge. You know, the, the interpersonal you know, craziness thing wasn't really that interesting to me. I was interested in the judge. And then I watched the first hearing. And I thought, well, the fir- for the first 45 minutes, the, the judge seems like a real reasonable human being. Yeah, until yeah. something flips, man. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe it's the Hales that are the crazy ones here. Because I ain't seeing this judge do anything weird. And then it got to the whole scheduling thing. And you saw that either she put him under a spell or she just talked him into insanity, talked him over the cliff. She and turtle just trapped snapped. him. She turtle trapped him. <laughs> but you just saw that you just saw it flick where he just said, okay, I I hate feather. I hate hail. Uh and let's go from there. It, it, it was just like that. And I went, oh, okay. You saw him teeter on the brink, and then he just tipped over. And yeah, you yeah. literally watching the hearing, you see it happen. Mm-hmm. His whole yeah. personality changes. And the the crazy part is, we felt the we felt the tension in the courtroom during the first hearing. But then when we when we finally saw the hearing on recording, you pick up even more. You pick up more, and and he seemed like he was calling her out on her inconsistencies and. Still allowing her to interrupt, but kind of calling her out on her inconsistencies. And then all of a sudden, when the whole, uh, when when time was running out because she kept talking and talking and he allowed her to continue to talk and talk and there needed to be a continuance after being there at 1 p.m. and not being seen until 3 and then the courts closes at 5, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he just... I... Like I will give him a thousand dollars if he can prove what he said is true that he's he has he's he's done 15 hearings in an hour before. <laughs> well, that'd ten, be great. Ten. It was 10. But he says oh, thought, sometimes more than 10 so in an hour. That's true. So that in would less be six, than an hour. Actually, he said in less than sometimes more than 10 yeah. in less than the hour. Yeah, so and that then, would be four to six minutes per hearing. He can't, <laughs> he say can't even say hello hi. in four to six minutes. I was thinking it, it was like the the ants in in Lord of the Rings where it takes them like three days to say hello to each other. <laughs> I think this is him. He's like an he's like an ant from Lord of the Rings. That's just all he is. Uh, what, well, that's that, that we we don't have any order to talk. We're going to be bouncing all around the timeline. But as long as we're here, let's talk about that because this this for me is was one of the most frustrating things to watch. I mean, from from your perspective, you probably get both, but from most viewers' perspective, you're like, why is the judge just talking and talking and talking? I'm seeing a law professor who's lecturing about the law and not being a judge. Absolutely. He struggles with removing that professor hat. And litigator. So he is a he is a long-term, long-time litigator and adjunct professor who doesn't understand. He's not that anymore. He's a judge. His job is to listen. And that's it. And judge. (laughs) Well, (laughs) after listening, he has to adjudicate. But let's be honest. He's already adjudicated this from day one, hearing number one. You know, he's already made his judgment. Yeah. uh... I mean, not only is he being the law, not only am I seeing a law professor who's not being a judge, it's going on and on and on. And as the lawyer, I'm watching your legal bill go tick, 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 like a dang, dang taxi meter. $125,000. And that's rounding down. So, and far. you don't even, you don't even, you're still on the protective order. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's, it, this is. I, so I, 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 that's now indefinite. Yeah. Temporary order. A temporary order that has no, yeah. no yeah. end date in sight whatsoever with my rights taken away and spent $125,000 on this horrific, horrible human being who we call Lynette mm-hmm. and John Crow. And, and, the, and the temporary, the temporary part was based on what Feather did what she's alleging Feather did and not something what he did. And from our understanding, when we try to attempt to get an injunction, they're called injunctions here in Florida, which Mm -hmm. some of you watching wherever you are in the, on the planet, uh, protection orders, civil protection orders in Ohio, they're called protection orders. We were told by 
his attorney, who was also the former judge who used to sit in the bench where, where Judge DeBias is sitting now, he was the judge, pretty much told us that you cannot get an injunction unless you have at least three criminal threats. No. Well, what is, what, what is it? Two crimes where they've been arrested on the third one, then you can get an injunction. That's how well, injunctions work. I, I, I have a not so rhetorical. What if they kill you on the second one? What if they kill you on the third one? Exactly. And that's what I said. I mm -hmm. went, okay, so they could shoot me and wound me on the first one, shoot me and wound me on the second one. On the third one, they kill me. Now I can get an injunction. That sounds great, Florida. Yeah, that sounds odd. Uh, but you, you know, don't say that term nearly enough. I just want you to know. <laughs> all the fans will understand that. They, they named a whole town after it. Exactly. I, I don't want to get all these generous people too far behind in the super chats. Let me let me address these. Candace Bingham says hi, J and G, with a big smiley face. Hi, Candace, and thank you. Hey, thank Candace. you. For Ro Rosalind Duke, Rosalind Duke is good. People, have you have you seen her video? I've watched like three of your videos, Rosalind. <laughs> Hilarious. <It's so> <laughs> your your sense of humor, Rosalind, is our sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. the, the Vices community loves the Hales community. Yeah, oh yeah, seriously. Yeah, we're just gonna adopt Rosalind. As a matter of fact, <laughs> Rosalind, yeah. we're looking to hire a songwriter, songwriter, editor, editor. Um, uh comedian so because you know we got nothing left you know our tanks are dry so we need some new content and marcus king with the big 20 dollars. thank you so much brother alaska supports the hail hashtag buckle up i that, that I'm, I'm happy that buckle up took off i'm just i mean who, who leaves uh, messages uh, who leaves messages like that oh. tell you know. mary you better buckle up <laughs> I, I like the reception. All right. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> Max Lab, Jeremy, what day is, is LP JC going to jail? <laughs> so Max Lab is asking a question based on yeah. something that I shared last night on yes. um geez, whose channel wasn't I watching last night? Um, but at any rate, yesterday afternoon we had a I think it was on a, MG Law's channel. Yeah, it was probably MG Law. So we had a, a meeting again yesterday, a very lengthy meeting with two detectives with the Levy County Sheriff. And um, they have clearly stated to us that they are going back and they are arresting Lynette and John Crook for violation of the civil protection order at the last town hall meeting where they stayed and did not immediately leave. They were there for one hour and 30 minutes plus. And so uh, while we don't know what day they're being arrested, these detectives have shared with us that they absolutely are being arrested. And the Levy County Sheriff are now making another adjust. We talked to the boss boss bosses, okay? Mm -hmm. And so Levy County Sheriff are now making another adjustment that any time we have an issue with Lynette or Crook, no more is a street deputy coming. They are sending the supervisor to arrest. And that's it. That's the new standard for Levy County Sheriff. They've all got the message. They all have the information. And a supervisor will come from the sheriff's station and arrest immediately. Well, now, now wait for the next time she's in court. You're we'll just be prepared for the. See, I told you he was getting me arrested. I told you he was trying to get me arrested. Just wait for that. But you, you, you got to understand <laughs> as she goes. You want me in jail? Yeah, you do. Oh, yes, the do. only person yeah. that can put a person in jail is the yeah. person doing the illegal act. Only you can get yourself placed in jail. Only she can make herself um the target of humor you know as the judge is saying well yeah. this deposition being out it, it it could be used to humiliate i can't humiliate anyone the only yeah. person who can humiliate yeah. a person is the person and she humiliates herself incriminates yeah. herself yeah we, we we gave her the uh we gave her the mom hat trick award yesterday with the my mother's on life support. My mom's dead. My mom's not dead. <laughs> now, 
if you go back, if you go back through her Facebook posts, which we have for years and years and years, this is this is not something new that she's used. Oh she my lord, I have those people. Their mothers have died yeah. five times. It's like it's their fifth yep. time they're asking off work because their mother died again. Like, yes, ah, yes. How, haven't you run Everyone out of grandparents? Our turtles Everyone. are even dying. She's even posted. So she says her, she says the child has a life-threatening metabolic disease. She yeah. then goes on to post that her turtles have life-threatening metabolic diseases. And then How? and then John is dying and he's septic. He's septic in the that's brain. Where septic that's boy where septic came boy came from. Because yeah. he's got septic in the brain. She yeah. posts She's, this stuff. She said that his step, sepsis is now in his bloodstream, traveling from his knee up into his brain, and the man is dying. And it's it septic, which he is. I, I have no doubt. He smells like septic. It, it well it probably explains why he's with her. I'm sure sepsis the, on the brain would, would cloud your reasoning. <laughs> Nick Starrows, with all the way from Sweden, says, I believe this judge has very few cases in his docket, and he stretches all hearings out to make it seem like he needs to be a full-time judge. I've seen slow judges handle five times the amount of cases. I wouldn't doubt it. And it's, anything's possible, Nick. Thank you so much. And Tom Thanks, Stewart, Nick. J and G are two awesome people. Yes, they are. And that's why they're here is because everybody's wow. like, why don't you have them on? It's well, I'll ask them. I don't, don't know if they want to, you know, just I, I'm down like about the level of, you know, swampy tortoises, but maybe they'll hang out with me. And, and here you are. <laughs> as long as you're not the level of line net. Yeah. <laughs> and Feather gave me this $2 and told me to shut up. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll get into the, the feather lore here in just a bit. And snarkasm with the two. Thank you so much. That's $10,500 per word you're allowed to say. <laughs> That's funny, but it's not. But it is, but it's not. Oh, you know. I love the name snarkasm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm going to keep this over because I don't want to. I have. I My brain just leaves the building. Every, and so I need to keep this up so I don't forget it. Cliff's notes for a constitution, send to bias as a copy. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, just uh, it, I, it is. This is such a weird case. And, and again, like we were talking about before, there's lots of cases with weird parties. There's lots of cases with weird judges, but there's not many cases with a weird party and a weird judge. And it makes it so much more difficult to follow. And then you throw a YouTube channel in on top of that, who's yep. documenting their entire <laughs> life going through it. I think it's the throw in the county too. Might as well throw in the yeah, county, the county the twilight zone. It's crazy. <laughs> well, going back to what snarcasm said with the, you know, this is the word that you were allowed to say. I mean, it's, you know, we're all, all of us YouTubers, whatnot. We're, we're sort of kind of like grifting off of, off of your your horrific story. I mean, on the one hand, it, it is funny and it's hilarious and it's entertainment and there is just no end to content. But on the other hand, that this is your life that yeah. you're living. And yeah. the fact that you guys can joke about it as well. I mean, that says a lot about you guys. I mean, that's that how we handle a lot of the stress. I mean, there's times where I'm in tears and just ready to quit, ready to give up, ready to walk away. And then and then one of our awesome supporters from our YouTube community will throw in some humor and then and then we laugh and then we throw humor back. And then, you know, watching, I've been following your um, commentary on the hearings and you throwing in humor. And I'm like, oh my God, this is hilarious. Like we're not the sorry, only one. Sorry about the swearing. I'll try to be better. <laughs> <laughs> I just get frustrated. <laughs> it is but very frustrating. Yeah, and, and that's what I, I. That's one thing I try to mention at least once a show is that this is fun for us. This is entertainment for us, but it's not necessarily entertainment for you guys. I mean, this is this is on your mind twenty four seven, and yep. I mean it's it's on the finances. It's on it's on your emotions. It's it's on your entire family dynamic. Uh, you know, it doesn't it doesn't help your health at all. But I mean, you, how do you, how do you guys stay positive? It's taken a whole, it's taken a, a toll on our, our mental health and it's taken a toll and the mental health has led to physical, it's affected us physically as well. And so, um, <clears throat> I've been in counseling for it because I've never been in a situation like this where I, I don't know how to deal with it. And it's taken a toll on his health 
and it's it's affected him physically as well. Um, but I'm impotent now because yeah. all I can think about is her. <laughs> I have problems. I need a doctor. I need a doctor stat. Oh, we, we 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 need to we need to get someone on on the so someone in the graphics department to start working on the on the Linette contraceptive kit. <laughs> I can't, can't stop thinking about her and naked turtles on poles. Oh. Speaking of contraceptive, someone said that it was invented because of her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Condoms she's were probably, invented because of Linette. Well, she's what sixty one. I I just keep thinking she's probably just like twenty seven, and it's the meth. I don't know. She's probably yeah, like she's twenty seven. up. There's no doubt about yeah. that. Hmm. I mean, I mean who, who's more methed up? The her or the seven people she's been married? Yeah, to? no kidding. What are they thinking? What are they thinking? It's so funny. It's so funny because obviously we get we get like mostly positive comments on videos, and then we get you know negative ones. And so somebody so somebody posted a comment last night that I saw. She was asleep already, and I was reading it. And it said, how dare you talk about Lynette's seven divorces when both you and George are both in failed relationships. Okay, well, <laughs> let's put this in perspective, all right? I married my high school sweetheart, all right? She cheated on me with, with somebody. We're in a divorce after 20 years being together, okay? 17 years married, all right? Yeah, so we, we, we split up, all right? So here's the difference. And George has been in relationships and never mm -hmm. married, all right? So George, number one, never made the decision to marry somebody and then get a divorce. Number two, I was in a relationship and then she initiated the divorce based on what she did. And guess what? I've never gotten remarried seven times. Seven times yeah. At what point? And the crazy part is she's an ordained minister that, that yeah. wants to do your marriages. And it's like, so do you look at that as a good way, as a good thing? Because she's she is experienced. At what point <laughs> do you not look in your turtle shell mirror and go, I'm the problem? Yeah, I mean, come on. If, if you guys ever decide to let the government encroach in your relationship uh, um, and, and decide to actually formally on the government books tie the knot, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you have her officiate your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? This is funny because our, our lawyers, two of so we've had three lawyers <laughs> legal team on this and Randy, who you've seen in the videos and then, and then Doreen is actually in the last hearing. <clears throat> And um, apparently they, I'm getting they, punched under the table. So forget it. I, <laughs> uh, the, the international sign for shut up. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, moving right along. Uh, when now, you see this happen, that's no. the international <laughs> sign for stop pinching and hitting me under the table. <laughs> that's that sign. Oh, uh, and I... I <laughs> Back. And we, we've got 1,700 people here and 650. A thousand of you haven't done your job and hit that like button. A thousand of you need to get down there and click that like button right now because I'm here and, and they're here and this is awesome. Uh, I would appreciate the likes and, and subscribe, whatever, but we've lost control of the chat. So un unfortunately, you know, the, the mods will keep everybody entertained because the mods are great. Um, but you know, the super chats are going to be the only way that your your comments get, get noticed and read. I apologize for that, but there's there's a million people here in chat is just whipping by. Uh, so I yeah, appreciate it. One, sometimes sometimes followers in the chat, you know, we we get these comments too, such as, "You only care if people pay you money. I'll never watch you again." Um, at what point doesn't a person understand two people can't read every yeah. single message that's oh flying through goodness. a chat? We would never like, get through a live. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I our, don't get it. Our our lives, you you can't slow it down because then it slows down yeah. your your show. And so our live goes like this, and it's hard to read everything. And then I'm trying to listen to him give the update and <laughs> flipping adventures. I saw that you're in the chat. Uh, garbage truck came at 6:59 on the security camera, so the the gate can be closed again. If you didn't already know that. By the way, one of the incredible employees that we were talking about is flipping adventures. And, hey, and howdy. Welcome. She was uh, she was 
she was a follower apparently from the very beginning when for me when uh wow. i was i i did a whole video on how to winterize your camper and and she all the way uh worked her way into a full-time job whether whether she wants it now or not <laughs> in honor She's I don't know if it gets cold enough, but did, did you send that video to Lynette? I, I don't know if it gets cold enough to have winterize your camper there in, in Florida, yeah. but <laughs> just, which, well, it's she's got the year round beautiful outdoor shower facility. <laughs> it makes it sound like lifestyles of the rich and famous. <coughs> the beautiful outdoor shower facility, which I'm sure is just a shower head attached, duct taped to a garden her. hose. He called her out on it with EPA regulations, and then she changed her tune. She posted it's for scrubbing, it's scrubbing and bathing tortoises. tortoises. Yeah. It's sad she calls a little girl a tortoise. It's, it's, it does actually get really cold here in Florida. Last last season, it got down to like oh, 30 degrees. Mayor Dan yeah. is here. Mayor Dan, I do want, I want to share this. Mayor Dan. We had okay. a we had a very 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 lengthy meeting yesterday with Levy County uh, detectives, and the one detective says, "Do you have any of these problems, you know, up north?" <laughs> and and I went, "You know what? I, I want to say that we we haven't had any issues whatsoever where where we live. Uh, we did have a landlord who illegally locked us out of our our uh, rented space." because she was having a dispute with her partner and she turned off her utilities. And, and I, and I told them, I said to the Levy County Sheriff, I said, you know what? We actually love our police department and our mayor. And, and, you know, there's no, we have no issues back home whatsoever. Any neighbors, and, any stalking fans. And so even our mayor back home is supportive in the chat. And, oh, Mayor Dan is your mayor back home. Yeah, he's our mayor back home, yeah. and it's an incredible story how we actually got to even meet him. But um, and then we come to we come to Otter Creek, and it's polar opposite. And by the way, we are outsiders in our mm. village at home. Okay, so which these are both homes, but we are outsiders. We didn't grow up. We moved into that community, and there's no doubt we're outsiders. Six hundred and fifty people in that community were outsiders, but they have never treated us like the people treat us here in Florida. It's it's night and day difference, night and day difference. And we were talk, talking to the deputies about that yesterday as well and bragging on our police department up north and bragging on our mayor up north and, and saying, why can't you be like them? And the chief of police. And... So it's, it's, they're just... It's just night and day. Everything, everything is 180 degrees. What? Yes. When I said Twilight Zone, I was not kidding. Oh no, you've gone in, you've gone in the in the, uh, the upside down down there. Yeah, <laughs> the upside down. Vol Volpe Fox has said, as someone whose mom died at age 50 with no warning via heart attack in a very dreadful manner, Lynette makes me so mad. Yeah, Volpe, I hear you, and she makes everybody mad for myriads of reasons. Uh, thank you yeah. so much. Oh, and Candace back. Candace being again. Judge Grudge Judge is ju sound like Judge Grudge better because it sort of sounds like a, like a villain, like a, yeah. a Marvel villain. Uh, Grudge Judge is just mad that now everyone knows he can't afford a haircut. <laughs> Mark Feather. <laughs> well, see, I I I think he, I, I I sort of refer him to as the aging Gallagher. Like if Gallagher had lived a few more years, he'd be like up there on the bench. You, smashing walnuts and cherries with his mallet. <laughs> He's got you know, that, the funny yeah. thing is in five hearings, we haven't heard any mallet smashing yet. Mm -hmm. And yet Lynette just goes on and on and on. I think he's just, if, I, just let her go and she'll burn herself out. <laughs> I don't know. But equality with the Canadian $2 says, thanks for being here, J&G. We love you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, my my peeps, they, 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 this is all they want to hear about. They just want to hear about you guys. Like, let's, let's bring them on so you, you can hear about them yourself. Mayor, Mayor Dan just said it's 68 today at Hale's headquarters. Uh, that would be nice. Psychedelic. I like that. I, I'm here in my flannel shirt and long pants and got a heater on over here. And it was, it was 60 yesterday, not today. Good day from Australia. Love J and G. Been following since before all the drama in Ohio. Love the humor in the law tube community. Well, see, I, th I think like lawyers and, and doctors and probably policemen have the worst senses of humor of anybody on earth. You just, <laughs> like, like tragedy, blood, gore, and death are, are, are somehow funny. 
It's because if you don't laugh, you're just going to go nuts. Yeah, that's the reality. If you don't laugh, you will go nuts. And dry bags, or drive bags, $5 challenge for Jeremy's Blue Chew purchases. <laughs> you got to explain that one to me. What's Blue Chew? <laughs> blue Chew purchases. Blue Chew purchase, $5 challenge blue for chew. Jeremy's Blue Chew. Blue Chew, maybe for the, the free freaking blue tablet. I don't know. I don't. I don't All get right, that. Well, thanks, drive bags. <laughs> you know what? If if I pretend like I don't understand the question long enough, he'll keep yeah. sending more super <laughs> chats to clarify. Yeah. So this could James, be profitable for you. And James Fender with the five dollars. Thank you so much, James. And Tom Stewart, LP loves wedding cake. <laughs> <laughs> that must be what it is. Mm. Snarkasm. I see Gene Pool in serious need of bleach. <laughs> oh, no. There, there's there's a lot of that down here. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, her gene pool's probably pretty shallow. <laughs> She's from the shallow end of the gene pool. <laughs> and Double Karma, any news on the Hong Kong stuff, J&G? Yes, that was part of our meeting yesterday with the Levy County uh, detectives. And so when I say we had an all afternoon meeting, it was it was a good chunk of the afternoon. It's very long meeting. Um, we will. It's still under investigation. So it's under invest. So here's what I'll share with you. Um, it's under the investigation. Breaking news. And they are subpoenaing. They are. How do you say subpoena in? They've set subpoena several subpoenas. In. Yeah, they're peeing. Uh, you know, so. To <laughs> attempt to verify or negate that Linet has been in communication with individuals. And so what that, yeah. So we'll just leave it at that. There's some things we can share. There's some things we can't yep. share. Do it's not share anything you can't share. And Francis Xavier of the $10. Thank you so much. Good morning, Jeremy and George. God is the number one judge and he is with you. Well, if the number one judge would shut up the, uh, you know, the, the, the third or fourth stringer that's on the bench now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be crazy if all of a sudden there was a lightning strike in the yeah. next hearing? Bam! There was already a bomb threat. Oh, I mean, we, his we, hair already we, looks like he got hit by lightning. So we we do have a, a video clip that we've been using quite frequently that does involve God. Uh, where are we here? I, I I was not prepared for extracurricular things here. Uh, uh oh, uh, where are we? Dang it! Ah, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Enjoying this scene. Get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> and Captain Karen, I demand you read my chat, but I forgot my question. <laughs> Lol. <coughs> well, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. And Kilo Bites. Hey, how you doing, Kilo Bites? We thank all the trolls in chat as they help the you. Hey, hate hate watches or watches, man. Hate views or views. <laughs> this will push just not the bots. The bots are the only thing. This will push the out. This will push this out to more people and ensure that more eyes see the truth. We're almost caught up, and then we can go back. And I got, I got. Isn't, it, isn't it amazing how the people who hate you actually, actually, oh yeah, make you more successful? And yeah. they hate you so much they want to destroy you, and all they do is make you more successful. And That's they how most dumb they are. Yeah, they're one That's of your most really, avid viewers, too. Oh, hey, DUI okay. guy here. What's up, Larry? Larry in the chat. How you doing? How you doing, brother? He was he was down here. He was down here last week, but he was uh, he was smart. He went about five hours he south of here. Yeah. <laughs> he he, was, he, he kept was going. <laughs> he was down there and just kept on. He went, <laughs> I'm going to keep going south. Uh, Larry in the chat. And, and, you know, Larry knows we're all here because of him. James Fender with the $5. Thank you so much, James Fender. And Jill Ams, how are you doing tonight, Jill? Do your song, Jeremy. Which, Do you have a song? song There's Jill? so many, Jill. Your song. There's so many. Uh, here, I don't think he has a, a guitar here, Jill. Ah, uh, boo. No, no, I don't. Uh, We're all at the school. Well, next time. Or, or, or just, you know. Stay tuned for Sunday. <laughs> Sunday for sure. Coyote bait. I like that name. Coyote bait. I'll go down the street with George driving. With George driving. <laughs> so what Coyote bait is saying so is judge, grudge judge won't allow me to go down my own road, yeah. even though 
all yeah. of my property access is on my road. And I have four different entrances and access to my property that can only be accessed from the road. And all of them are under 500 feet from the their property, their 1.66 acres. And so while she says she would go down, the reality is if I do, you already know I'm going to get arrested. So why chance that? I will continue to respect what the judge grudge has said, even though I don't respect the man and I will respectfully fight it in the court system. He doesn't have a good visual of the layout of our property. Literally the 70 acres, she's right across the street from part of the 70 acres. And there used to be um, uh, a driveway in the area and it's overgrown now. And that's why he can't get to it unless he's driving on the public road to get to the driveway that's now overgrown. Mm -hmm because one of our plans was to put, um, to develop on that area. We, we, were, we were, cause we were watching the third hearing last night. We were, we were all of this was being discussed. I'm sort of thinking, you know, maybe, maybe if the judge would, uh, would let him talk for a minute or two, they could, uh, they could get, bring up a map. <laughs> so the IT, so, so I was watching as you were going through all that and you were getting frustrated. The IT guy comes after, up to me after the court hearing, he goes, Oh my goodness, I could have solved this within 30 seconds. We could have just brought up GPS. I'm like, that would have been nice. But yeah, any help right, right now, you're telling me. So the IT guy comes up to me and goes, I could have solved that in 30 seconds. Thanks, brother. Appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, it would have been <laughs> nice if you said that during the hearing. No judge is your hobo doppelganger, sir. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, don't, don't do me like that, Stingy. I'll, I'll put you in the penalty box. Don't do that. <laughs> Jill, okay, we we moved to a town. Oh, yeah. Best song moved ever. Moved to a town. No. no one around. All to get away from the snow. I put in a two-inch line and everything was fine until they tried to steal all my dough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, oh, I like making up songs. It, make, it makes life so much better. And our last one before I get back to the questions. Thank you so much, everybody. Good morning, J and G. Been following the channel since before G, praying for a hedge of protection around. That's what you that's what you need. You need to plant the hedge of protection across the street along the street. <laughs> I just want to know if Crystal's still gonna be following after G and after Jeremy when it's gonna be <laughs> Debbie Vaughn and, and JK. <laughs> Make sure, Crystal, yeah. you keep watching. If if Lynette and Crook off us. Make sure you keep watching Debbie Vaughn and JK. <laughs> well, I, I do I do have one question. The first question I have is, is something we do when we get to like the hundred dollar super chat and we've we've passed that. I usually turn on the the extra cam with with the dog sleeping. Oh, dog the cam. Do we do, do we mind? Should should we leave them out or should we bring them into this? Bring them in. Can we put in our chicken cam? Oh yeah. Go ahead. If you got a chicken cam, do it. I, I don't <laughs> no, we don't, we don't have one. I'm just saying, can we? Oh yeah. Sure. <laughs> These stones. There we go. Here's our here's Yoda oh, and Strawberry together. Oh. Now I got to turn on the light over here. Uh, our, our neighbor up north, ha they have a hairless cat, and his name is uh, Yoda. Yoda. Wild oh. yeah, Yoda. Yoda is the uh, mostly white one, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Strawberry, and strawberry is. Strawberry is okay. Yeah, I, I named him because he looks like Yoda, but we he, my he's one of my friends. In, yeah, <laughs> one of my friends in law school had an Egyptian hairless cat named it Rogaine. <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Nice. But, uh, but now, gosh. Yoda's been to Otter Creek. Yeah. That. yeah, our neighbors up north. They brought Yoda to Otter they Creek. They brought their, their hairless cat to see our property. And they were like, what the what? hell? <laughs> when that's like, a, that's, a, that's a tortoise without a shell on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, now, let's go back to the beginning where did you come from and why and how I, I, I know there was this, what, what was, what led to like, let's, let's go start buying up storage units. So, so wait, hold a second. Which beginning do you want? Because the, I remember the, it being dark. Yeah. And, and not, not that far back. Light and I started <laughs> crying. How, what, what beginning do you want? What's what origin story? Yeah. The, the, what, how, I guess kind of all of this sort of sprang from, from the, uh, the storage units. How, how, how do you wake up one day and go storage units is, I think we're going to do that. So I'll answer that. Um, so you really, you want the beginning of the YouTube channel. Okay. So, okay. so before G he'll so, go back. To so there'd be G. before George, BG. So <laughs> we call it BG before George. Um, 
I was in another relationship and, and this individual literally said to me, she's like, our lives are so incredible. We should, we should put it on YouTube. People would love this. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, there's nobody going to watch on YouTube. Like, and I still, I'm shocked to this day that anybody watches our live. But he still um, says that every meet day. me too. Nobody. I mean, I'm not, not you watch yours. I mean, but, watches mine. Like, nobody's going to watch this. Why would anybody watch this? Why wouldn't people go out and live their own lives? And, and so I thought it was the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. And, and so I, I challenged her because just because I challenged her because I ended up doing everything in the relationship and she didn't do anything. And I was like, you know what? You create it and I'll make the first video. And I, and then knowing she would never even create the channel. And I didn't know it took 30 seconds to create a channel on YouTube. <laughs> so she did it. And I'm like, oh crap. And so, um, so I, I started having fun with her daughter doing camping hacks because we'd go camping every single weekend. No, and, yeah. and you know, I didn't know anything about YouTube then, nothing whatsoever. And I've always, always had a passion and a love for auctions, for reselling. I've always been on eBay from the very beginning. And mm. um, I was like, oh, we're, well, we're going to a storage unit auction. I was like, oh, I'll film this. And, and filmed it, and YouTube loved it. I don't know why. Especially the unboxing, right? And then, and then unboxing was so huge. And, and, and I was like, okay, well, I guess they like this. You just, you unbox the entire storage unit. Yeah, you unbox the entire storage <laughs> unit, which now we will buy really big storage units and we'll split yeah. that up into multiple videos. But, um, and, and I went, oh my goodness, they like this better than camping hacks. And, and I went, huh. Um, and you so then i was like okay well this is this is kind of fun well at at this point i'd broken up with this female um it was it was a it wasn't a, a healthy relationship and so i'd i'd removed her from my life and um and so i was like huh. you took a high, you took a hiatus. i took a i took a hiatus you know i wasn't on youtube and i wasn't doing anything i was like well i'm gonna do it anyway and i met george and george and i met and i was like hey i'm bored I'm at home all day and which most people are thinking, wait, young guy is, I'm not young anymore, but, but, um, I was home at all day and, and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to see what this YouTube thing can do. I was like, I'm bored. I need a project to sink my teeth in. I need something for a creative outlet. And I told George, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to do this. You want to do it? She's like, nope. She's like, but have fun. And I was like, all right, well, I'm well, bored. Pri prior to that, he would he would record our dates and our adventures on our dates <laughs> for just it. us. For, <laughs> and then and she'd be like, "Well, I have to approve this if you upload I wanted, anything." Because yeah, I, I knew nothing about yeah. YouTube or editing or what the video would look like, and so I needed I needed to see what the vi our, yeah. the videos of our dates and our adventures before he released it. Editing tomorrow. was horrible. Videos were horrible. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah. it was a complete total learn learning process and i like to learn and so i was learning yeah i we do everything every i started on a samsung s6 film on a phone edit on a phone thumbnails are on a phone everything is on a phone in other words what youtube wow. tells you not to do to be yeah, that's rough we've broken <laughs> all the rules of youtube and success and um and so learned and and then it got to a point George and I, George and I were seeing each other and, and then George this was October of 18 when he decided to do it full term dedication, release the video every day. I wanted to learn. I wanted to do it. I wanted to see what YouTube was all about. I wanted to document, you know, my adventures and the name put of it the on channel there. was completely different. Yeah, name of the channel was different. Change the name of the channel. That was December of 18 when we changed the name of the channel to what the hails. And that's when we, that's when we did our very first live stream. He's like, I want to go live. And we had no idea what we were doing. So we decided at 10,000 subscribers, we were going to do start live streams. We had no idea what we were doing. At that point, her anxiety was so ridiculous. I would have to type out a full agenda. And, wow. and, and now we just turn the button on and we go live. Yeah. But, um, and at that point, if you go back to our original live, she refused to my, speak. So my job was to read the chat and ask the mm -hmm. question. 
which she still refuses to speak now. But um, <laughs> so the, the, our deal has always been, she's like, well, okay, I'll do YouTube with you, but you have to do all the talking. It's like Penn and, and Teller. It it's really? His, I want, it's his channel. <laughs> He's the face of the channel. <laughs> You do all the talking, and then I can chime in here and there. So she's and color that, commentary. <laughs> how did how did COVID Ruth over the roof? Yeah. Over the roof. But but now now you're just now you're just an old pro at this. I wouldn't no, say no. I still we, get anxiety. But we I, learn we learn every day. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're we're tomorrow morning we're teaching we're teaching more people YouTube. Uh, that you might find this somewhat hilarious, but Mark Feather is starting his own YouTube channel and we are training part of his team tomorrow in regards to YouTube oh, and cool. some others as well. And so we're holding a all day training event tomorrow on what 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 it takes to actually be successful and and <laughs> what that looks like on YouTube. And frankly, we don't know. So <laughs> we're still trying to figure it out ourselves. Well, people in chat were asking if, if George, if you would say that your anxiety was on the chain. <laughs> off the chain? Is it off, off the, the chain? Uh, what what is she off what, the what, chain? Like, uh, off the yeah, chain is like. It, was that what she said? Off the chain? She said something yeah. stupid. <laughs> she said it's off the chain, which is like contradictory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, off yeah, yeah. like amazing, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> off the hook, but it was like on the My hook. anxiety yeah. is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like my son, my son uses that term, that lingo. It's off the chain, which means Man. like it's it's amazing, it's awesome. <laughs> my anxiety is over the roof. <laughs> it's crazy. How, how did how did COVID change everything for you during during the struggle times? So COVID plays a huge part in how and why we moved to Otter Creek. And hey, I thought you were color commentary. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. So I so I got diagnosed with breast cancer the end of 18, and then we announced it in 19. And then fast forward, the COVID hit the US um, like in 19. And then I got diagnosed with um, I got diagnosed with um, thyroid, thyroid cancer. cancer. Yeah. In 2020, and then the world shut down between that time between my two bouts of cancer the world shut down where we weren't allowed to go anywhere. And they, the governor in Ohio was like, you, do, you don't leave your house, stay in your house. And, and one of our goals was to eventually move to Florida one day when we got older, that was one of our long-term goals. And so after the thyroid, first day, the first date we discussed it, it was, I mean, we're middle age. So you're sitting down. My, my philosophy is this with dating. Okay. Don't waste my time. Cause who knows how much I have and I'm middle age. And it was like, what are your goals? And, and we both went, we want to, we want a snowbird in Florida. I'm like, all right, cool. Great. And we both said that without even really even knowing each other. Now keep going. So, go. so after, um, three surgeries, I had three surgeries and radiation treatment. I had timed it to where my insurance would cover my radiation treatments. And then I would quit from my, from my career to become fun and employed. Cause I said, life is too short. I don't know how long I'm going to live. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> and so I quit my career to, to help him, um, with YouTube and, and to be fun employed. And then after when, after I had a thyroidectomy that threw my whole body off and mm. I'm always cold and the winters was so hard on me. And that's what pulled the trigger to move to Florida even sooner. The thyroid was, 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 was it. Okay. And so he's, uh, I, and I asked him what, I knew I wanted to, to stay on the on the golf side and he didn't care where in Florida as long as we we're in Florida but I knew I wanted to be on the golf side and I said okay well how many acres do you want five he goes no more I'm like okay 10 acres no I want 50 or more acres I want all the acres <laughs> <laughs> so in in the event that the world shut down again where the governor says you cannot leave your home we at least had 70 acres to play on right and with so, gators and and yeah. we have creek with dinosaur bones all and, kinds of wildlife and animal and who, you know. who thought that amongst all of those Lynette would be the scariest of all 
Yes. Wow. Oh. But did you know so, her before the move? Were you aware of her existence before the move? Be well, she lied and said that she bought the property. So technically, he did in person. I didn't meet so, her. So pause. She's not answering your question. This yeah. is all right. Well, so waiting the for answer you to jump in. is no. We yes. have no clue okay. who she is at all. We buy mm -hmm. the property. Year later, we're stalked here. That's so she the, wasn't a follower that you knew of. She wasn't a participant in chats or anything like that that you were aware of. No. All Not right. That's the one that stuck out. So she sent an email July of 2021 saying, hey, we're fans. We're your new neighbor. Can we borrow your tractor to move a tree that's blocking the driveway? And that's he, a weird I thing to do for your neighbor. Send him an email. That's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. He's and walking so, across an aspirin. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're deep in the woods. You can't. And uh, we're gated. On purpose. Uh, our okay. And our driveway is gated. And so, and so he had called me and he's like, hey, um, we, we got an email from our new neighbors and she wants to borrow the tractor. I'm like, okay, cool. So then, so then when he met with them, um, after he got done with the tractor, he called me and he said, there was a woman there, a friend of hers named Jamie. And Jamie said that Lynette moved there on purpose across the street from you to be close to you. And I was like, okay, that's weird, but whatever. And we didn't really think we didn't really make a big deal of it. But that that conversation when he called me to tell me about this Jamie woman saying that just stuck in the back of my mind. Yeah. Now in retrospect, you can see someone in the background waving the first red flag. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then and then you were you were doing a meet and greet at your place and she wanted to get in on that. So not not at our place. We hosted it at a winery okay. <clears throat> nearby, and we because all of our followers are runks. <laughs> oh, like speaking pro. of which, I, I forgot to start drinking my wine. Thank you very much. <laughs> By the way, followers, I was joking. I, Just the joke. I, I know. I know you understand that I'm serious. Ninety nine point nine percent. Mine people. are all degenerates. I love my fans. All, that all was the degenerates. A point one percent joke. <laughs> So we hit we hit 500 we hit a hot a high a milestone of half a million 500,000 subscribers and so the theme for that meet and greet was half a mil time to grill wow for the meet and greet meat spelled m-e-a-t because we love barbecue so we had barbecues actually mm -hmm. cater yes. the event mm -hmm. all you can eat barbecues barbecues yeah is so good and there was a $50 registration and it came with a ton of stuff and it guaranteed a slot because we had to cut off the, the people that are attending because the, the venue we went to didn't hold that many people. And it would have been overwhelming if it was more than what we, it was already overwhelming with the amount of people and we oversold, um, but we booked out rather quickly. And so her, in order for her to avoid paying the registry, she's like, hey, can I bring a tortoise to your event? <laughs> Sorry, that's just the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. So, so we, we charged $50. Per we, we wanted to do it free for all the fans, but there was no way we could do it free yeah. and have T-shirts and, and yeah. prizes. And mm -hmm. so we charged $50. That $50 got you a half meal time to grill, a specialized T-shirt. Mm -hmm. In your size, it got you a swag bag with what the hails merch. It got you all you could eat barbecues, and we gave out tons of money and prizes. So every time, if we found for months, if we found money, we gave away. A, I think it was two thousand five hundred dollar watch that we found in a storage what? unit. Five hundred dollars oh. cash. There was all kinds of cash, gift cards, um, coin collections. Anything we found in a storage unit, and we were like, "This is we worth set money." It aside to be this is going to be a prize yeah. for our fans, and and so. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's the first thing that goes through your head though when someone says, "Can I bring a tortoise?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so so she was she, her plan was to come bring the child and then bring a vol a, a volunteer named Sarah. So she there was going to be three of them. So that's $150 that she's avoiding. Well, oh, yeah. if you include the tortoise, tortoise, that's $200 she avoided. Yeah, we're charging the tortoise too. <laughs> tortoise lives matter. God, are you, are you, are you, are you going to charge for all the whatever disease tortoises carry shots for everybody? Oh, salmonella. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 tortoises have it. I know turtles have salmonella. Wow. And so, and so she, 
we were on board. We had a meeting with the entire team at the at the winery, and then we he was calling a couple people just to get confirmation on setup with the staff, and then she was one of them. And that was my first time ever hearing her voice when he I'm called. I'm sorry. I, I just have, I'm, I'm still having trouble processing this. I, Cause I could just see what, if I had a meet and greet, we'd be like, yeah, bring the tortoise. And, and, and my father would be like trying okay. to get the tortoise Let me help drunk you on process. wine. And <laughs> Let me help you process this. I'm too nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am way too nice. I'll give the shirt off my back to anybody. I'm too nice. And I should have ignored this individual. <laughs> From the very first email, I mean, once and you message. heard her voice in person, yeah, ran for the hills. Is it worse than the videos? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, much no. worse. Oh yeah. no, her raspy uh, voice is like the demon trying to come out. So, <laughs> so we had the call. That was my first time ever hearing her yeah. on the phone, um, and <clears throat> um, we didn't. We talked about the setup of where, how much room she needed, blah blah blah. It was a quick and short conversation. So, uh, was it a giant tortoise? Or was it a small one? <laughs> I think she was going to bring George, and George was featured on our channel because we've been. I've been on her property three times, and all three times I knew this was not right. This type of living condition was not right. Charlie says Jeremy oh. Lee has two shirts in his wardrobe. That's because I give them yeah. all away. <laughs> He auctions them off. <laughs> well, he's a dude. What do you want him to have? Four? Come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. The I bet he's got two pairs of lost. pants, too. So, you know, come That's on. He's a dude. Fifth. You should have five. I plead the fifth. Yeah. <laughs> and so uh, she had messaged him saying, hey, I have breads for your chicken. Can you come get it? And so he sent me over there by myself. There's so to, much to, that happened. To clarify. I don't want to be around this woman. All she does is she so pathetically complains and begs for money. Is I Very went, hey, needy. I did not want to hear her again, see her again, be near her again. And I was like, hey, can you just go get this? Because I'm too nice. And I was like, can you just go get this? And that way it will shut her up. You know what I mean? You, you've been in those situations. Just, and it'll shut her up. And so- yeah. And then well, I was like, in between Can you get those, it? there was a ton of messages that she would send him, like, "Hey, I have, um, I have veggies for your animals. If you want them, let me know. I'll make a box for you." And he would ignore it or brush her off and say, "I don't need any." Or, "Hey, I have veggies for you for the for the for the hogs," and he would just brush her off. And finally, he caved in when she said, "Hey, I have bread for the chickens." So I went over there and she starts giving me an earful and starts crying and goes over through the list of all of her bills and after and all the issues she has with John and how he's abusive towards her, the man that's living with her on her property. And then and then and then said that by the time she's done paying all her bills, she doesn't have money to feed herself. Or the, or the child. And that's how she's begging for money. She'll list all of her bills and then be like, and I can't even buy food. And she's looking at you going, come on, hand it out. She's manipulating uh, you for money. Yeah. That's her manipulation tactic. But the crazy part is there was rotting food piles all over her property when I was there. And it stunk so bad. And the reason why they did that was to try and build the soil because it's all sand here in Otter Creek. And the, and they wanted to grow a garden. No, the reason why they did that is because they're pathetically filthy. Well, that too. And that's it. That too. There's many reasons. And so. <clears throat> it's unsavory. She, and then she told me her life story and I just, and then my anxiety was over the roof. Just listening. To <laughs> was it off the chain though? It wasn't yeah. off the chain. <laughs> no. And so, and I, and I just looked at her and I was like, you know, you have so much on your plate. The very first time I ever met this woman in person and within the first three minutes, she said she wants John out of her life. He, she doesn't want him in her life anymore. She stated to me the first time that I, I met her with the tractor moving a tree. She wants him dead. She oh, will tell God. a complete and total stranger she wants John to die. <laughs> oh, and hi. My, my name is Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Uh, and, <laughs> and that's what, hey, I'm Jeremy. And then she'll be like, I hate yeah. him. I want him to die. <laughs> like, it is so. So after that, George, George got, she came back. And she's like, I will never go over there again. I will never talk to her again. Don't ever ask me to go over there again. I will not do it. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Now we both can't stand her. So then two, <laughs> weeks later, 
two weeks after that incident, she had messaged him and said, hey, are you okay with me putting up a donation box uh, at your oh, meeting? Yeah, in, in, in what world would that even begin to, to be possibly okay? So he told her that's that's not appropriate. This is a meet and greet for our fans. And she was okay. She, she acted like she was okay with that. Fine. That it'll be publicity, which we have proof that she sent to another local. That's fine. And things that she has posted online. That's fine. I'll still get publicity. Oh, and that's well, she did she ever. Wanted from us. She wanted money, publicity, and she wanted us to work on her property for free. Yeah. Her, the, the biggest reason was to get publicity for her turtle rescue because he would always say, a, a la turtles. And she's got more publicity <laughs> than she's ever dreamt And of. more money. More and money. more money. Donations. There are there are mentally unstable individuals just like her giving her money for legal fees. Which to that, I mean, honestly, we have to say thank you because we know <laughs> it's going to be a settlement at the end and the more yeah. money they give her for legal fees means there's more left over for the settlement at the very end even if she declares bankruptcy the state's going to come in seize everything it's going to go up for auction to pay off the pay off the settlement so you know if they're so dumb to keep giving her money that just means in the long run mm -hmm. the settlement means there's more in our pocket and she has to claim all this she's on disability they're giving her money she's not claiming it they're putting her in such legal liability and yes our lawyers are taking care of it and it's a so, good thing that she gets a lawyer too because that adds a little bit more sanity and predictability to it hmm. a little so bit so after jeremy said no to the donation box yeah. that's when everything spiraled out of control and then she un uninvited herself to the to the meet and greet and we went Whoo! great she sent me a text this this long and at the bottom i don't even read them her rants are insane i didn't even read it at the bottom said i, I won't be coming and i and i just sent her a one word okay, okay that was yeah, it. all right, <laughs> all right. Like, oh no oh no please no <laughs> uh wow we were, we were yeah. spiraled and then she she yeah. waited till we moved back up to when we went back to ohio and then put the defamation signs all over town what 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 a, what a horrible person! And I don't even have to deal with it, and I, it, it just feels icky. It's, yeah, uh, it makes me want to shower. I hate. You, 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 she has a beautiful outdoor shower facility. You, <laughs> you can. You can yeah. It's amazing how she thinks everything she has is beautiful, beautiful and it's complete it's a, and total garbage. Beautiful shit bucket we got out here. I mean, my a, a, a beautiful, we got out here. <laughs> my beautiful pooping bucket, my yeah. beautiful outdoor shower, my beautiful property. Don't step on the glass and nails. Yeah. 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 Don't step on the glass and nails, little girl my with a life threatening metabolic illness. Did you watch that video yet? The body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's so their their so property bad. their property is slightly cleaner from back then and Jeremy even recorded it from the road for the safety of the child like she she keeps announcing that this child could die from anything and has a life threatening disorder but they're living in squalor with all this yeah. rotting everywhere and the only and reason any of it has gotten cleaned up is because I exposed them the light got shine on it and literally saying go play in the road. <laughs> Like that's a like that's a good thing to do. That that's healthy. Isn't that crazy? Snakes, broken glass, rusty nails, snakes. She complains in the hearings. The funny part is she complains to the judge in the hearing. Nobody drives down our road except now we get ten, we get twenty, a hundred cars a day driving down the road. She's the freaking one that drove down the road and bought property on purpose, mm -hmm. stalking us there. And now she's complaining that people drive down the road. Yeah, because she wanted she... to use our fan base for publicity for her turtle rescue. Now she's complaining about yeah. it. It's kind of like she doesn't understand how roads work and what they're for. You know? Right. She doesn't own the road. People <laughs> drive on that road to come see the infamous finger. Did you hear about the finger? Yeah, oh, yeah. Megan, Megan Fox built her finger fence out of Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she did a finger fence too. Yeah, she did finger fancy. I, I'm I'm more intrigued by the futon gate. That's kind of my that's my highlight. <laughs> the ultimate security. Oh, that's in the body ultimate, cam. Yeah, that was in the body yeah. cam. 
Ultima yeah, Security. <laughs> they actually added. They they added at one point. We have a we have a screenshot of it somewhere. But they put a round futon in there as well with just one more <laughs> layer of security. So, so it's like a Hobbit door, just like a little round yeah, it's, round it's, door so, there. <laughs> so we understand that there are people that are famous and they need they need the tightest security measures in the world. Spare no expense. Get a futon frame. Both both the bed couch and the round and um you'll be good to go oh lord oh, oh that's, that's... nobody can get past that and, and, and you can take a rest after trying to somehow get around that you can oh, just gonna sit down and take it easy do you see the sign that's on the ground oh no I, what does it say no trespassing oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks it's all in space the wind must have blew it over. <laughs> the Even the sign is embarrassed. Out front for for passerbys. Oh no! Uh, <laughs> Don't try passing, but if you need to plop pop a squat, here's a bucket. <laughs> we got a couple more super chats here. Uh, Captain Kieran says, uh, "J and G, did you ever get Biscuit Boy served? Who the hell yes, is Biscuit sir. Boy? Biscuit Boy is served. It's Biscuit. Biscuit. <laughs> he ate the other eye. Biscuit butt. Biscuit." Is served. Wow, yeah. what does that even mean? <laughs> That's another story for another <laughs> okay. story. Right. another grifter who uh, claimed that he lives in Otter Creek. He started putting our name in every single title. Our name is trademarked. We gave him no permission whatsoever. So he tried to get a fan base based off of our fan base. He showed up to our meet and greet without tried to break into our meet outside. and greet without without paying. He doesn't even live in Otter Creek. He tried to film everything. So now he tries to film everything that we film. Mm. He literally tries to mimic everything that we do. And he's been served. He's being sued for using our trademark name. Get this him. is the same creeper that said he could trespass on our property anytime he wants when we first moved here and we ever knew what he looked like as long as he was in the creek. Telling all the locals he can trespass. Yeah, he's just another, he's just another horrible human being. Trying to wow. trying to fake it, trying to fake like he's a Jeremy and George. Dang, I'm sorry I asked. Wow, that's <laughs> there's, there's someone else out there. God, Florida man song says double karma. When the oh yeah, your next song should be when the judge is the Florida man, like how Nick stated it. <laughs> <laughs> Florida man judge, and our RPM Auto House two smoke show. Glad to see J and G smiling from Lakeland, Florida. Oh, me too. We're, we're glad they're smiling. It's got to be rough. And notes on a phone. It's been a minute, brother. How you doing? No notes on a phone. Remember for six months. Uh, what's the one moment that made you think, "Oh boy, here we go." When, when she did the defamatory signs. No, before that, John Crook put a firearm out on me. Oh, that's true. So there's so much. I, there's there's literally so much. So much they posted on on uh, social media that they now try and claim they never posted because it's deleted. I mean, the funniest thing in the world when they were in the contempt of court hearing up in Ohio. She goes, Your Honor, Your Honor, you can look at my my Facebook right now. Nothing's there. He's lying. And she goes, I don't <laughs> care what's there or not there now. I care what was there. Like you're gonna mm. pull that over on a judge. Yeah. How yeah. stupid can you be? She's even Quite. posted that she deletes. She dirty deletes her incriminating post. But I would say, I would say the the turning point was when Crook pulled out the firearm on me. That was probably, mm. you one, know, one we, of many. One of many, but yeah, you, but, you, but you're no. the one that can't have one now. Exactly. Exactly. Not based on anything I've done. Yeah. And flipping adventures is a Jeremy was such a dork in the beginning. <laughs> now with seven hundred thousand subscribers, he's a huge dork with a George. The entire planet loves it, and the entire them. planet. And then, <laughs> oh, you want to hear a funny story about uh, flipping adventures? We were oh, at boy. a uh, flea market, a local flea market, and she was getting hit on <laughs> like crazy. And and I was like, listen, you know, for the right amount of money, I'll show you her phone number. But um so we're walking, Jeremy and I are or we're all walking as a group, and she was the only one that got recognized. And some woman comes up to her, she's like, Hey, aren't you the one that hangs out with what the hails? <laughs> you jam a hang around. And we're literally and we're standing right side by no side with her. We're there. Side by side no with her. Idea. We're right there. <laughs> And we just kind of hang around. We kept walking. And then later she's like, oh my God, the whole gang is here. You know, the reason why I truly need firearms is because so many people hit on flipping adventures yeah. when we go out. 
Like we were, we were out yesterday at Cedar Key getting ice cream and getting dinner. And this one dude who longboards all over Cedar Key was all over her, drooling all over her. <laughs> you have no idea. I have to fight these people off. I literally have to fight people With off. With his wireless, wireless speaker. Yeah. It's hard to be purdy. You know, <laughs> it's a, it's a curse. Ask her. It's a curse. <laughs> Coyote Bay says, "My bad. Thought you couldn't. Thought you couldn't drive the road." Coyote, he yeah. can't, but I can. Yeah. <laughs> and unhung hero stripping for tortoise Jesus. Oh no! Don't <laughs> don't make me think of that. <laughs> and Jill Max Martinez actually should file kidnapping charges on Lacey. You know what? I have a post that she made that she, that Lacey made that she got kidnapped, and that's how she was forced to get married the first time. Let's talk about Lacey. How weird is it that, because uh, I, I saw her, two, two of her stepdaughters on with uh, Tug and Megan. Yep. How weird is it your stepdaughters call you by your stripper name? Very weird. The it's whole so thing weird. is weird. I mean, well, we're like, up to what, 40 aliases her. now? Yeah. 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 It's like name she gave herself. I mean, this woman is so off, and that man <laughs> is so off. And, and let's be honest. We don't even know the deepest secrets in their closet, such as we know they met on a, you know, herpes.com. They, they met on an STD website. Okay. And so we know that, but we don't know. We know she's so proud that she was stripping for so many years as she's a minister ordained minister for Jesus. Now, I, I don't care what you think about stripping. I don't care what you think about, a, you know, ordained minister for Jesus, but the two don't you typically yeah, go together. Okay. Exactly. Oh, it ain't they, like peanut butter and jelly, and it's a beautiful sandwich. All right. They do so, in my thumbnails. <laughs> so, so there's so much. We've only scratched the surface of what this woman, this horrific woman, this horrific man have done in their lives. We only know the tip of the iceberg. We don't know the biggest yeah. skeletons in their closets. And yet, more information, more people are coming out and telling us daily daily saying we got more we got more we, let me tell you what they did to us let me tell you and so it's just it's insane it's insane not well, one family member has reached out to, to, to defend her yeah they reach out to us to 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 share their story and and to warn us how evil this woman is they and, all and they, want to see them in jail how that she is has so sad that's really actually sad life. That's that's just that's really really sad when you think about it. Like no, not one of her passel of, of offspring is will support her. She's that's, evil. Ugh. Yeah. No, and and so many people are like, well, how can you pick on an old lady when they have no idea she's damaged so many people's lives for decades, decades. Yeah. Uh, let's let's check it in our movie title, our like and subscribe poll here. What what should we title the movie about this? So far, 4% have said Septic Boy in the Swamp of Despair. I kind of <laughs> like that one. 16% have said the 40 Faces of Lynette from Mars. 25% uh, have said Attack of the Stripper Preacher. But, but a full 55% think we should title it Judge Grudge and the Tortoise Queen. <laughs> so, I, I've been having so much fun just... Making making thumb I hate making thumbnails. Making thumbnails is the worst part of this thing that I do, but I've been having so much fun making thumbnails of this thing because <laughs> there's just so much to work with. There really is. I mean, really is. I've got a bunch locked and loaded for the judge. I mean, this, this sort of the descent into despair for the judge. I thought we'd we'd make him like totally crazy. Uh, <laughs> then, then we'll turn him into like a superhero, like a Marvel villain. <laughs> I got one that Jessica made. And we, 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 we've got the cartoon versions. Then we got the, the Lynette ones are good. Oh, I like this one. This, this is one of my favorite ones. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, sort of the, uh, the, the, the Sonic the Hedgehog looking thing here. And then Lynette comes in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's exactly what she was looking for. This is the stripping for Jesus one here. I like this one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was in your thumbnail, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, these will all be in the thumbnails eventually. So I can't put this oh. in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> They're septic boy. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice if we made him a septic tank. <laughs> so that's his alternate costume. Uh, except he doesn't have six pack. 
And here, here, here's the tortoise queen in, in her in her Tiger King in her Tyler Tiger King regalia. Oh my goodness! And it, I, I don't know how this this one. I, I well, well, this was the first one. And I thought we should dune this up, make it all dune with like the the maker hooks riding the tortoise through the desert. And <laughs> yeah, I've been having fun making those. They they're good. Uh, but, and oh oh dear, what is this? Feather. <laughs> what what is that? No, we'll, we'll get to the what is the deal with that. But I I just want to say since I did this last night, we've already got 642 more subscribers since, since this time yesterday. You guys Man, are so we, awesome. Can we? What's your trick? Man? Yeah, what's your trick? We want in on this. <laughs> Well, what your trick is, you find someone with three quarters of a million subscribers that's in a horrible situation, and then you bring them here and make fun of it. <laughs> we got we got six subscribers since last night. <laughs> we need trade. Yeah, well, you just got to find so you know, find someone way up there that has problems, and and and, yeah. and I, I I do appreciate because as I said, you're, you know, your your followers, your supporters are some amazing amazing people. There's there's 2,600 people watching this now, 1,300, literally 50 percent of you haven't done your job. Get down there and smash that like button, please. Maybe maybe instead of a doggo cam, we need like yeah. a turtle cam. Oh no, oh. turtles are out. Turtles are out. We should have a mole moles. camp. Moles are in. Oh yeah, that's right. You have moles. You have moles in the camp. I heard about that. Moles are in. <laughs> but oh my god. So what what is the deal with the with the what what's the deal with the judge? And, and has he has he always hated feather or is that just because of that first hearing or do you do you know any of the backstory? There? From from our understanding, even Feather said he's worked with him in the courts for 25 years and he's never seen anything like this. Well, because that's the thing in, in the small, I mean, the big cities, you can hate people because you may never work with them and maybe once. But in small towns like this, you're going to be working with the same people forever. So you you normally just have the cordial business relationship It's like, OK, we're we're on the opposite side of things today. We'll be on the same side of something later. You keep it cordial. But. I don't think they like each other. Like genuinely. I, I think Mark, Mark is such an incredible individual. Mark would never hold anything against him. Um, Mark is in a, in a position now. And, and I think we'll, we'll learn more about that later because he was supposed to be on our live stream this past Sunday, who will be on a live yeah. stream in the future. But um, Mark's in a position now going, yeah, dad, he, he's like, what in the world? The whole world is going. What in the world? What is the, with this judge and Mark Feather? You know, Mark Feather is the world's most famous attorney right now, and um, and nobody can figure out what this judge's bent is against him. And Mark doesn't know either. And Mark's such a quality, amazing individual. Mark isn't going. Well, I don't like you either. Mark's literally going. What is going on? How, how do we yeah. fix this? This is. You know, this isn't okay. Uh, what did I do? You know, so there's that self analyzation as well, trying to figure out what he did. And 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 for didn't... the judge to say he can complete cases ten and less than it, sometimes more than ten and less than the hours, fifteen minutes triggered him. Well, see, and that was he he completely misheard that. It was I can I can finish her cross examination in fifteen minutes, and depending on that, we may not even need to talk to anybody else. Yeah, and I, and I I would imagine I would never deign to speak for him, but I would imagine the fifteen minutes would sort of be summed up with, uh, "Did you sign there where you were supposed to sign it?" Oh no! All right, judge dismiss, and then everything would go away. But the judge got butt hurt somehow. He misheard that. Oh, I'm going to do all this in fifteen minutes when that was never said. And then I think it was the, the scheduling thing, which. Here we are in, in going into hearing number four, and he's still on that. That Jeremy Hale said he had to be in Ohio. You know, when the continuance was needed because of her, it wasn't because of him needing more time. It was because the judge allowed her to talk in circles, and then she was having technical issues. That was a waste of time. And then yeah. to try and then to bring to try and show videos that are completely irrelevant to her case. And, and I mean, you're, you know, Jeremy's explanation was was acceptable to me. As I, we, uh, you know, that there, there was a miscommunication. What I meant was I need to get there tomorrow because the hearing is you know, that made sense to me. I mean, and it was like okay, 
But then she gets to do this. My mother is dead and dying on life support. And I had, she, she, you did this in advance. You said, we can't do this. She's like, do, do you hey, have a where are you? Yes, I'll accept a receipt for gas. <laughs> what? Yeah. And then, and then the, well, the email from the sister saying when she arrived and when she, okay, so let's say she went to, she went down there just to get away from the deposition. <gasps> Is that a possibility? That's why, I mean, what, you know, he asked for it and I was like, oh, yay. But then again, chat's like, oh, no, don't yay. So I was saying, well, he asked for the proof she was in the hospital, the proof that she was. Uh, still no I mean, proof. There's still no proof. Still no proof. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you look no at the, gas receipt the either. fifth hearing, Randy, my lawyer, brings it up and his, uh, he says, you still are ignoring that motion for yep. proof. And he goes, no, it's on the docket for today. And he goes, no, you are ignoring it. Mm-hmm. And he, he, the judge tried to slide it and push it under the, the rug like it didn't exist. Well, yeah. And, and I mean, see, you gave the advance notice that you know, whether or not there was a, a slight miscommunication, it was there is something happening in Ohio related to this, and I need to leave tomorrow morning. There, so there's a minor miscommunication. You're giving advance notice, but the, her, with her, it's like, hey, uh, we're we're here waiting for the deposition. Where are you at? Oh, I'm on the road. I'm out of here. I'm like, yeah, my, my mother dead. died. Yeah. Ma'am, what proof do you have that your mother died? My mother didn't die. <laughs> it's almost like you've got these memorized. <laughs> <laughs> We've heard it so many times. And we quote them all day. Yeah. But I mean, with, with her, I mean, that's, she doesn't ask for permission to not be there. She doesn't give advance notice that she's not coming. It's like literally, oh, you know, hey, hi, no, I'm on the road. I ain't going to be there. And the judge is just like, yeah, whatever. But he's climbing up your backside for what was clearly a miscommunication. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, I don't understand it. You <laughs> are, are you, yeah. you are you're not, not a nice person. person. <laughs> you know what that really means, right? And turtle, she, uh, she was gonna she was gonna say you are an a hole. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, I mean, aside from the John, get away from the window thing. <laughs> Stop looking in the window or whatever. Aside from that, my whole favorite part was this. <laughs> Aren't you a minister? <laughs> oh yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, I yes, I am. And, I and, can't and hear you. Yeah. Ma'am, stop saying that. You heard me. No, I can't hear you. And do you go by Michelle? Yes. Yes, yes, yes that's my name. <laughs> I, I, I still just, can't I, hear you. Ma'am, you heard yeah. what I said. Quit saying that. You just proved that you can hear me. <laughs> I, I don't want to see her ear ever, ever again. Ever again. <laughs> Her ear hole. <laughs> yeah, that's that's just a little up close and personal for me. That's how she yeah. made her money on the pole, showing her ear hole. Her ear hole. Oh no! And that's what we we always had fun pausing the deposition video, and her facial expressions were always probably the last thing someone saw at the last lap dance. <laughs> 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 And again, this is this is things that that, that are, are ridiculous and and funny, but not so funny all the time. And you know, the crazy part is the judge probably would have allowed her to behave that way in court. You know what I would do if she continues yeah. to behave that way? I'm going to start screaming, "Call Silverman now!" <laughs> I'll get arrested. <laughs> Please do us a favor. See, I, that's why I don't I I don't like Zoom. And we talked about Zoom being the root of all evil at the beginning. Because you you it's like on a phone call. You can hang up on someone, you can yell at someone, you can scream at someone, something you something you can't get away with when you're doing well, you it know in why person. It was offered via Zoom. It was offered via Zoom because she has this child with a life threatening, threatening disorder. And so we were trying to be accommodating to her because they they can't hire anyone to babysit. She doesn't have a babysitter. Only John can watch. But she states that 98% of the residents of Otter Creek love her and John and support her. Yeah. And that what no one is... can watch her. But she was going to bring her to our meet and greet around all those people. <clears throat> but no one else can watch her and she can't be around other people. What is up with keeping the child in the car during the hearings? 
I mean, God. With with the man she calls an abuser. An abuser. Oh, and the man that in, in, in that 338-page thing talks about how she won't let him touch her, she won't let him look at her, won't let him sit on, sit on his lap, won't let him do anything. But he's she's being she's keeping her child in a car for hours with who she is portraying to be a child predator of something of some yeah. sort. Yeah. And she even says in the first hearing that I'm very open that the John is is abusive. Of course, you have to understand everybody in her life, she claims is abusive, except for her. And yet her own children are the ones trying to let the world know she's abusive. Yeah, she uh, uses the child. She exploits the child. And it's so sickening. It's beyond sickening. She's been exploiting that child before she was even born as a rug booby. Yeah. What, what, what I want to say to her is you are not a nice person. <laughs> that, that's from MG Law. Thank you, MG. Appreciate that. <laughs> he, he clipped that and sent that. <laughs> oh my lord! It's oh my goodness! I'm gonna get in so much trouble for the judge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how many how many days or years I'm gonna be in jail for all these people having that deposition. But we yeah we we kept. We started tallying the number of times she pled the fifth during the deposition, and it yeah. was sixty-five. A lot. A lot. Sixty-five. It, it was. It was a lot in just the little bit we've all seen. And I can't wait till this is all over because I will gladly sit through all seven hours of this. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're gonna love it! I, I can already tell you, you're absolutely gonna love it. The Are world we ever gonna get John's deposition? John's, you're gonna love as well. John, oh, got it. I, I'm 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 under gag order right now yeah. that I can't don't say talk anything. don't talk about it. But I just want to know if we got it. Okay, good. Yes. And and you you're absolutely no, going to love it. A very small portion. You're not allowed to talk about it, thank you. Yeah, no. Yes, yeah, we just, have it. Yeah. All right. That's that's good. For better or worse, for better or worse, that's good. And Mystery Sky is a new it. oh sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, well, well let I, I hope this gets over quickly because I'm impatient. Terribly impatient. Mystery Sky became a YouTube member. Thank you so much, Mystery Sky, for, for being our newest member. That's super special. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And Unhung Hero, this Florida woman is making the average Florida man look normal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, matchmaker, yeah. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Sonic, more like Mega Man. That's Dr. Willie. Okay. All right. <laughs> Mega Man. Yeah. So I was sort of thinking it looked like Dr. Robotnik, which people were calling me in the early days of, of my YouTube career, but then they, did, then they decided law racks was somehow more appropriate. So yeah, that's how that happened. Uh, the DCV Titan again, I repeat, nothing beats a good gummer. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, everything, everything. Uh, David E. Jones. <laughs> yeah, that is the same as Methmo. Yep. Yeah. Maybe the crook slipped devices a bad doobie. <laughs> no, the, the, be, the judge would be, never be, do something. The judge would never do something like that. Is it? Well, people are like, what? What do you? What do you think? Uh, Feather thinks about judge. I, 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 he probably thinks he's the greatest guy in the world, and it's the most wonderful court, and everybody. Because you know, nobody's going to hate on a judge that they have to work with all the time, whether they like them we or not. You, you, yeah, you got to protect yourself. And, and well, John you, Grant, I think people also have to understand it's illegal for a lawyer to say anything negative about a judge. So a lawyer's lawyers could be can, held under legal liability if they say anything negative about a judge. You, you can you can definitely find them. yourself in some ethical problems. Yeah. yeah. No lawyer's okay. gonna come out and say, "Oh man, this judge is horrible." Okay, but they legal not, under not the I'm law. Practicing. <laughs> yeah, not 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 well, not anybody I would be practicing under. Be hey, this guy's the greatest guy ever. John Grand with a five dollars super chat. What will happen next if the judge is removed by the appeal? Hopefully, a sane judge will be appointed. Goes to another judge. Yep, and it's sort of kind of back to square one. But weirdly, after five hearings and hours and hours and hours, we're still kind of sort of at square one. So it's not a big step backwards. Yeah, yeah, we really <laughs> barely haven't. You know, nothing's happened. That's, That's the reality. So ridiculous. This, this is, I, I mean, I have, I've never 
seen anything like this. These are just automatic. You come in, you go, all right, I have to believe whatever crazy stuff you say. Here's your temporary order. See you in 15 days. All right, here's our one hour set aside. Everybody put your cards on the table. All right, you're a horrible person. It's now permanent. Or yeah, I think you don't really have a case here. Now it's it's gone. And then you move on with your lives. That's hey, it. Here, here's the craziest part, okay? When I went into Mark Feather's office, he said, Jeremy, you don't need a lawyer. All you have to do is walk in there. You have your Ohio civil protection orders. He must, by good faith and credit under the law, accept those, yeah. give you injunctions. It's done. He goes, you don't need a lawyer. And I went, I appreciate that, except I think I'd be a fool to go in there without one. So I'm still going to hire Especially knowing you. what we're dealing with with this woman. $125,000 later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we still haven't gotten anything accomplished except my civil rights taken away from me. Yeah, not not the greatest thing to, uh, to to accomplish out of this, which I just I I I honestly don't understand that. I I've never seen a, you know a, a TRO, a PPO, an injunction, or whatever you want to call it, wherever you, I've never seen one like this before. Based on something she's alleging an attorney did, which isn't even a, a threat. Oh my lord! Don't even get me started on that. That see, I mean, this thing. He came, he came, and he offered me money if I would drop the suit, or, or he said that if I dropped the suit, I'd make sure he never said anything bad about. That's that's what we call settlement discussions. I mean, let's. I, I know you're saying that that never occurred, but let's assume that it did occur. That that is literally how you run a, a settlement negotiation. The judge specifically said, "You guys got two weeks. You better try to get this worked out." Which would mean the lawyer contacts the other lawyer or the person if they're not represented by a lawyer and goes, "All right, let's be adults. How do we get this to end? You 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 pay us money, we walk away, or we pay you money, we walk away, or we both go. All right, let's cut our losses and run. We both drop our hand, drop hand settlement. They call it, and we just that that's that's how you do settlement negotiations. How how does she make this sound so nefarious? I don't know, but Jeremy never had that discussion with his yeah. lawyer, and he would never pay that woman a dime. We wouldn't even let her set up a donation box at our meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> Still yeah, I mean, won't let her have any type of money. And I mean, the, the fact that the judge is taking that you know, attempted bribe, alleged bribe thing seriously is the most ridiculous. I mean, okay, it's not the most ridiculous thing about this. In a normal situation, that would be the most ridiculous thing ever. Here, it's one of many ridiculous things. Mm -hmm. Because that's when you just go, look, that's what I told him to do it. If he did it, that's a settlement discussion. That's how you handle settlement discussions, literally. If he didn't do it, then you're wrong. So either way, you lose, shut up. <sighs> normal judge. Yep. Yeah. 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 So, so that made Mark Feather, attorney Mark Feather, a witness. And then he yeah. had to find Randy. It, and the fact that the judge didn't see that as well. I mean, it's like, you know, you made the big deal about out of this where, you know, you have to take that as, as, as true or whatever. And now he's a witness. I, I thought it was. That was the beginning of, of the tipping for me is I, I thought I, I when we talked earlier, I said it was the uh, it was the scheduling thing. But it was it was that part was the tipping point when you started to go off the deep end that I thought it was incredibly inappropriate. Well, he was already off the deep end by then. God. Keeping the timeline is so difficult. In my head. There's, There's so, so many so layers and so <laughs> much information. Yeah. He, he, he was off the deep end with feathers in the last few minutes with the scheduling. He was already already butthurt going into hearing number two because of the whole scheduling issue. And then when it got to that point, that's when he became kind of unhinged. I thought, I would think it was horribly inappropriate for him to, and I'm paraphrasing, look at your lawyer and go, I hope you had this discussion to say that you're, you, you're not ready to do this and he's better be prepared for the consequences. If not, if you go ahead with it, you're incompetent. If you don't go ahead with it, you're kind of incompetent. You know, I, that was wholly, wholly inappropriate for the judge to have that discussion. Oh, yeah. He takes a lot of jabs at Jeremy's uh, counsel. You, you'll see that if you continue watching the, the hearings. You're yeah, on hearing, are you done with hearing three? We finished that. We're starting on four, probably okay. Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday of next week. 
need, need to take a couple of days to for a palate cleanser <laughs> just you know, and get get right with God before I dump back into the swamp. <laughs> Now you you've done so many of these these shows and these, these uh, you visits to other sites and talked about this so much. What what is the most frequently asked question? Why like your dog there is licking Yoda's butt? <laughs> so that's my most asked question. All right, all right. Okay. Thank you for stopping that. Bye. <laughs> Yoda's like, I just want to. Wait, I was distracted by all of that. <laughs> there is some butt licking going on, and I realize that's standard in today's world, but um, yeah, it still takes and, me by surprise when I see it. And they're brother and sister, so let's just get extra. Whoa! <laughs> creek. Yeah. Uh, what What's the question you've just been asked so much that you're tired of answering? Um, well, one of the questions we keep getting is which video should we watch that tells the whole story? Um, you there can't isn't the whole, story, this, in one the whole story could never, ever be told in one story <laughs> so, or <laughs> one video. Yeah. Oh, I learned that the hard way. I, I, your playlist. I, I, I hate you for everything that's got me involved in this. <laughs> I, I so we went through the the you know, the uh, the voicemail on Larry DUI guys deal. Then it, then he did the the big thing which I I didn't watch, and then he did the the TLDR version, and I watched that and went, all right, this is weird, this is nuts, and then I made that mistake of asking people, what do I watch first? And eighty people gave me ninety different answers. Absolutely. Like you, you you want to start with the with the beginning stuff, but then you want to go back and watch it from the beginning to find out what the hell's going on. And then, but sometimes you have to be in the middle. And I'm all right. I'm just gonna just gonna throw this open. We'll go from the beginning to the end and see what happens. Try to make some sense out of this and see if we if we can't get some some lucid. The judge has these moments of lucidity where he's smart and does things, but then he just goes right back into. I'm a angry butthurt professor that doesn't like people yeah. and it goes off the hook. And so you, there is no answer to that question. Where do you start? You just jump in and, and just don't fight the current. Just go wherever it takes you. That's the best way to find out what's going on or I watch all of my videos. The, <laughs> <laughs> One of the, two. <laughs> the route that you're taking, watching the hearing and then splashing in a couple things here and there that works too. But I think doing all the hearing and seeing the behavior of the judge with no evidence, she still has yet to show any evidence of whatever, whatever criteria need to be met in Florida to get the injunction and then go back from the beginning. But there's, there is a lot because it's not only her, we also have a, uh, the pre the previous administration with town hall that gets crazy. And she somehow co-mingles in that too. And, Oh it's yeah, what? what's up? What's up with the former mayor? Why? 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 What? What's up with the former mayor? <laughs> I just, I'm so confused. <laughs> There's so much with that. All right, bullet points. Uh, we <laughs> buy in Otter Creek. I've spent twenty five thousand dollars to get town water. So because of she's got medical needs, we'll just put it at that. So we try and hook up to town water instead of the well water which is healthier for her. They overcharge us and we're the only individuals that are charged. The former mayor who we call Russ the Sus, Russell Meeks mm -hmm. Sr. Um, he utilizes his position over this town of a hundred people for sexual favors. If if these people can't pay to keep their water on, which is 2250 a month. Um, and, and so sexual favors will keep your water on, things along those lines. Um, there's obviously drugs in the area and I get it, drugs are everywhere, but Drugs are definitely on the turtle property and addicts on the turtle property. Mm -hmm. um, and so you've got you've got an individual who is abusing the position of mayor, which is over a town of 100, which is literally nothing uh, less than one square mile over this town and and charging more money, which is theft than anybody else to me. Everybody pays twenty two fifty. They charge me 50 bucks. And so in a nutshell, that's where it all starts. Then they don't, they refuse to give any public records. They find themselves in a lawsuit because I requested the public records 
they settled the lawsuit with a new mayor and I have all the public records, which shows so much corruption. It's ridiculous. That's the bullet points. So I, like, I can imagine they would love you. Oh, you go ahead. Can, I share, can I share a screenshot sure. that I have? No, sure. no, you cannot. <clears throat> so here's no screenshots for you. <laughs> <laughs> here's a sign of them trash talking the former mayor. And then inside the bulletin board next to the post office, is him trying to get people to to join their Facebook group where they're bashing the previous administration. Their hate group. Which they're now best friends with these people they're bashing. So here's the sign in the inside the glass. Come join us on Facebook. Get politics. involved. Stop the corruption and backroom deals and order. This is there's a hundred people in this town. See, this is what I don't get. I, I grew up in a town of two thousand people. See how the uh, handwriting yep. matches? Yep. Yeah, that's a job. Yeah. So they're oh, both nice. known for putting up signs around town. They right. love putting signs up around town. And he and that the stop corruption one, he blew that up on like a four by eight four piece by of eight. plywood, put it on their property, mm -hmm. which is under their 501c3, which is illegal. You can't be for or against somebody when you're a 501c3. See, I, 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 I don't get small i mean with this this small of small town politics first of all i think everybody should be the hero because i would imagine you're one of the largest taxpayers in town yes <laughs> people should love you uh for just for that oh oh my lord <laughs> he did that with red with blood turtle yeah. blood <laughs> i say it looks like a tombstone but, <laughs> Erect. It used to be erect, and she had messaged and say, "Hey, can you bring your tractor and help me take the sign down?" <laughs> and I said, "Absolutely not." <laughs> said no. Dang, because so I came from a town of two thousand people. There was more cows than people in my hometown. Even in a town of two thousand people, if the if the mayor went rogue or did something like that, every everybody else in town would be like, "Dave, you're Dave. Come on." Who do you think you're wielding power over, Dave? There's there's like a group of us here. There's a handful of people in town. I can't imagine someone doing that in a town of only a hundred people. That's weird. Well, Very. these people aren't normal. And by these people, That's I mean true. Lynette and John Crook. Not normal at all. And she ran for city council, was it? Yes, in the town of Otter Creek of a hundred people. <sighs> And she had already shown her freak flag. I mean, that thing was flying and people were going, <laughs> who the heck is this freak? And, and and all the garbage she was posting and saying, and she didn't get voted in. And nor would she ever. Not a single person. would. The only people that would vote for her are her and John. No. Well, and <laughs> Russell Suss may because she's so freaking stupid, so <laughs> poor, so dumb. Russ the Suss could get a little sum on the side and get his way in with the town. But um, the how the town, people, there is no way the town residents would ever put her in a seat whatsoever. How many people are on the council? Five. So, so five percent of your populace represent your town. You've so got like, yeah, got like five. Mayor? vice mayor and then three councilmen and then their your town clerk they run meeting monthly yeah. so i mean let's just assume there's 20 kids in town that, well there's that leaves three maybe two two there's two that minors, we know of like minors yeah yeah like non-voting age very I mean, very, very small percentage and, and but so there's still we'll say 80 90 people left to fill five slots. And I would guess probably 70 of those have zero interest in doing any of that. Yeah. They so, want I mean, nothing to do with it. So I mean, how, how it, it seems like you would be like, Oh God, we've got to fill this vacancy on the city council somehow, please Dave, will you do it? We need to put a body here. I, I, it seems like it'd be weird to lose an election in a town that small. Exactly. And that's what it comes down to. <laughs> if you lose in an election in this town, you suck. <laughs> because there's nobody running against you yeah i, I mean god but uh, on the subject of questions so what's the one question that you've never been asked that you 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 wish someone would ask like what's the one question you want to answer um, what is george really like off camera did we somehow offend yoda 
<laughs> oh no, there's he, he's hunkered down in front of the space heater there. The, sp the space oh. heater is going. He's just bogarting the heat. <laughs> Tammy wanted to know. Yeah, it's just uh, he, he's just there in front of the space heater, sucking up the heat. Um, what is George he, he, like he off you. camera? Yeah. Oh, but that has nothing to do with the case. He didn't no, say anything. Any yeah, case. just any question. Both of you. If he's going down that road, <laughs> you get a I crack at it like too. like Yoda facing the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just sits in the corner. <laughs> she's usually just trying like to... I shoot, contemplating the mysteries of the universe. She's usually trying to put me in the corner. <laughs> Nobody puts Jeremy in the corner except George. Uh, how how much sleep do you guys actually get a night? So for me. Uh, George has a gift, and that gift is she literally can fall asleep anywhere, any place, under any circumstance, no matter what. On a roller coaster, time, it would not matter. Mm. Uh, I am not, I am not like that. Um, and and I have tremendous amounts of issues getting sleep and getting enough sleep to the point where uh, we've tried so many different things, um, and. And I think finally I've found something that is helping. Um, and this this whole situation has not has not helped the aspect of sleep. So, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a very driven person. And so mm -hmm. there's so many things that I have my hands in. I guess it's <laughs> I, I guess it's oh it's okay that I don't get as much sleep, but it does have a long term effect. And so um I think I finally found something that is helping somewhat, but she can get as much sleep. I mean, it, it could go on forever. If I'm tired, as soon yeah. as my head hits the pillow, I can fall asleep. But with court and everything, um, sometimes my adrenaline's going and I'm thinking and I'm and I'm trying to process what happened. Yeah. There's times where I have sleepless nights where I'm up at night and I'm either doing research or I'm trying to fall back asleep by reading because reading usually helps me sleep. And then Flippin' Adventure says the one question that we get the most is, is this place real? Like every, everybody, yeah. there, there's this whole conspiracy that that I am this massive, you know, multimillionaire that pays all of these people in the town. They're all actors and that everybody you see in, you know, the judge is an actor. Lynette is an actor. John is an actor. Russ the Sus is an actor. Somehow I have all these millions of dollars and I'm paying all of these people to be a part of this show. I don't understand how that even works in people's minds, but they they think it's I'm, fake. I got to say, that's unbelievable. That's almost more believable. Well, I've already said that this, this that you could never make a movie about this. You would have to make a documentary. Yes. Because you would pitch this idea just to, to a showrunner and they would be like, just get the F out. This is this is the <laughs> stupidest thing I've ever heard of. Nobody's gonna watch this. Yeah. Because it's so ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So, yeah. It, uh, <laughs> well, I'm Amy, so, so the so as you're talking about it, we get we're contacted by producers all the time. A and E wants all the videos that have to do with John and Lynette. And I worked negotiated with them on a price. Okay. And so we we got to a point where I would I would sell them the videos for a price, but I would not give them editing rights. And mm -hmm. so so they want they still want it and they still want to negotiate. They want me to give up editing rights. And and I'm in that position of going, eh, you know, we just talked to another producer yesterday, two days ago, that wants to do a full documentary on this entire situation. Get yourself an entertainment lawyer. And so, um, and, and we get contacted by producers all the time, all the time. I mean, producers have come to us, they go, oh, you know, we want to put you on reality TV. We want to do a show surrounding, you know, your lives. We want to do a show with you, a part of this. And our answer is typically always no, because most people think, oh man, TV, that's lucrative. TV is not lucrative. You get into a reality TV show, things along those lines, with the amount of hours that you work and you're, and you're filming and you're doing all this, you're making less than minimum wage. That's what it comes down to yeah. with a TV contract. Now, if you're on season five and six and it's successful, then you can get some lucrative con contracts. But why would we go to back to working for under minimum wage when we've got 
legal fees right now of one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and nothing's even happened. And our legal fees could be a million dollars when this is all done. And so so we typically we tell them, no, not interested. You know, our freedom. If you want to be famous, get on TV, go for it. If you want freedom mm -hmm. and fun employment. And that's where I'm at in my life um then then tv is not the place for us but we are we are okay with you know if a and e wants to purchase them and then we don't have to do any additional work and i don't mind selling them or netflix wants to purchase it as as a docu-series then netflix can have it if we don't have to do any other work i don't mind selling them i won't sell any of it exclusive so there's an aspect of exclusive rights as well. So it's intellectual property. I own it. I yeah. can sell it. And most producers want exclusive rights. They're the mm -hmm. only ones that can ever share it. And, and I won't sell exclusive rights. I will maintain the rights to it. They won't own it wholly. And, and so that's where we get hiccups all the time. And we won't go back and work for under minimum wage because of the aspect of wanting to do our own thing and have our own schedule and working late at night, waking up when you want to. And that's, that's more important than being famous by, by all means. And frankly, the fame is what's caused this problem mm -hmm. of being stalked with line that's that. An and, and so the fame is not fun, you know, living life and sharing it and encouraging people is fun, but the stalking and the threats is not fun at all. Wow. Well, you, you, you promised me two hours and uh, I promised you we wouldn't do two hours. We're at the two hour mark. Uh, let's read through these super chats here and then I'll let you guys get back to sleep. <laughs> we got a recorded video. Oh Lord. It says, Hey Jeremy, uh, well, what was up with silver suds assistant sitting behind you? Judge windbag didn't make him move. <laughs> yeah, a little uh, sus, wasn't it? So Brent was sitting right in between myself and Randy in the fifth hearing and um, major conflict of interest, major, major issue, which will will ensure that never happens again. And Katie P, member for 17 months. What's up, Katie? How you doing? The best part of Zoom is the mute button. <laughs> <laughs> We wield it like a pro. And Vince Clortho, thank you so much. What's up with Russ the Sus? Yeah, I, I, I saw that. And that's why I asked that question a little while ago. Uh, Russ the Sus is scrambling like crazy yeah. to try and maintain any power or leadership within the town council. And I don't believe that will happen. But if it does, another twist and turn in this entire story. And every day there's another twist and turn. The next town hall meeting is Tuesday. so Which if Lina and Crook show mm -hmm. up, a supervisor from Levy County Sheriff will come and arrest them immediately. No exceptions, none whatsoever. And they're already supposed to be getting arrested for the last violation based on what we were told yesterday. And KGIT with $5. Tipping point seems to be Jeremy's turtle song through Lynette's cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you didn't do something like that. <laughs> Not me. One me. Uh, <laughs> Ronald Smith, the 299 super sticker. Thank you so much. And Rogue Mama, the whole Otter Creek playlist is a deep dive must. Yeah, it's it's sort of like asking which of your children you love the most. <laughs> you just, just got to have them all. It's addictive. The playlist is addictive because nobody can believe it's real. And we live it. And we look at each other and go, is this real? What yeah. the hell's? And our final super chat from Brian S. Florida stripper rides tortoise into church, bites child. <laughs> That's your next headline. But I don't, did, did you guys follow the, uh, the the Maya Kowalski, the saving, you take care of Maya thing that was in Florida, about the uh, the girl that was being tortured by Johns Hopkins, all children's no, hospital? And, and, to be, and to be so transparent, um, we don't have TV there's no time in our you. lives for TV. As a matter of fact, we don't even watch YouTube, except we've been watching everybody covering law tube. Law yeah. tube. And so what we'll do is as we work, we'll put it on and we'll listen as we're working. Uh, yeah. But there's no time in our lives for TV. And I know that sounds odd to people. And you go, oh, no. like you're fun employed. 
listen, there's so many other things going on that yeah. we don't even we don't even know what's going on in the world with news. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the reason I asked, it was a huge case that ended up with uh, Johns Hopkins getting a $261 million judgment against them for torturing this poor girl in their hospital. And uh, one of the and, and the, the, the the lawyers for the hospital are, are just they're evil people. And they're trying to take money away from the family. They drove the mother of this girl to suicide, uh, to to self delete. Sorry, YouTube. Well, we're two hours in. Uh, <laughs> to the point where she said, literally, the only way to keep this family together is for me not to be here anymore. And took herself out. And during all of this, this these these trial, these proceedings, there was a, there, there was one lady who was in in court doing you know she you know, doing her thing, being you know, a court a court watcher, a court viewer, and you. Know, doing reports and things from the court. And because she was, she was there, she was seen on camera once. And she, the, the, she became a target of the lawyers for the hospital and found herself hand handed. She was, she found her name was prominently displayed in lots of post judgment, uh, you know, motions and things for a new trial based on jury misconduct and whatnot. It's uh, it's it's Jules here. This, this is her Jules. She she speaks from a very very unique position of having been thrown and thrust into the spotlight unwillingly, much as you have been. And she asks you, please ask them what they would have done differently given the chance. Jeez. <sighs> That's a good question. I think, I think, you know, I've, I've thought about this often. Okay. Let her put the damn collection box. At the no, no. <laughs> so that, that junky piece of property across the street. And it is it's dump. It's junk. It's, it's, it's worthless. Uh, 1.66 acres. What I should have done immediately is I should have snatched it up and made sure that nobody could ever stalk us. And and so this is a lesson that we've learned. OK, so we bought we bought a place up north. OK, so we bought a place up north because of what they've done to us, that nobody can ever build around us, be next to us, get to us. We are protected on every single angle. We've looked at a nine acre island down here to, to, to move to an island so that they oh, can that sounds anywhere. awesome. And, and you, it, it sounds awesome, but you have to also understand you're isolating yourself and nobody should have to be in a position to where they fear so much that they have yeah. to isolate themselves. But we looked at it and, and went, you know, this would be safer. Nobody can stalk us. Nobody can, can be around us. My realtor just sent me a seven acre island. Uh, and, and you're thinking an island, you're like, that must be millions and millions of dollars. No, it's very, very, it's cheaper than buying a house. Uh, on 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 the coastline and so Thanks. nobody wants to fight the crocs and the alligators exactly and <laughs> and so looking back at it the the thing that i would have done is immediately snatched up all property that surrounded my property so that this can never happen again and and we've learned that and this is what we tell our friends on youtube now is protect your boundaries you have to protect your boundaries because people are freaking crazy and i think that i mean it, i i like that jules asked that question because you know, it's a similar situation you didn't ask to be in this position you you didn't ask for any of this you just you just wanted to be left alone at the end of the day that's what it boils down to and you were thrust into this uh, absolutely and then at the other end will people go well you're the one that put yourself out on youtube all right well there are plenty of people who put themselves out on youtube that still want to be left alone and it's great for education and for entertainment and for enabling people, you know, equipping people with tools and, and things along those lines. You know, I, I watch if if when Deanna and I were, were changing her alternator in her vehicle, we watched YouTube. You know what we didn't do? We didn't go to that mechanic shop. We didn't buy property right across the street from him. We didn't ask him for money. We left him alone. And so... So putting yourself on YouTube doesn't mean that you want attention. It doesn't mean that you want you want fans and people to show up. Um, it means that you are offering something of value to others if they want to accept it. But at the same time, you still want to live your life normal. Mm -hmm. I want to go into a restaurant and not think, OK, I'm going to be assaulted. I want to be able to call the yeah. Levy County Sheriff and go, yep, they're going to do their job and they're going to arrest somebody who's stalking me. And so. It's yeah. all part of our education. 
of educating people because if you read our about section we tell you that we entertain we educate and then we're edutainers with a splash of humor and so our channel has gotten to the point where we just vlog our lives and it's a video diary of our lives and we do it for accountability and so you do have those folks that are upset that we're putting it on YouTube, but it's all part of accountability and having proof that this is happening because people are like, well, unless we see it, we don't believe it. Okay. Well then we're going to, we're going to continue to share it. And now they go, I see it, but I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, see right. it now, but why are you putting it out there? You're going to get so many hate, but you're going to get mo mostly support from it. Uh, well, you know, I, 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 I just, I hope this gets resolved relatively quickly. I mean, it's going to take a while now that uh, now that it's gone to appeal, and you've got you've got the federal suit going. We're going to be talking about that next week as well. Uh, and the federal suit is huge. I guarantee you, Lynette and Crook, which they are both being sued in federal court, they have no grasp of what's happening or what's going to happen. This is huge, huge. <sighs> Well, before before we wrap this up, is there any, anything you want to, you want to say in in passing and parting to to your your people? Because like there's way more way, way more of your people watching than my people watching, including the overlap. Um, the cartoons that you were showing for future thumbnails, just a suggestion. Um, you could make one of the tortoise queen black. Oh, yeah. that's right, She's black. She's I black. <laughs> I'm not a racist. I'm black. My whole family is black. And then she proceeds to talk about how they're all Hispanic. <laughs> I love that. We're black. We're Hispanic. We're Indian. We're, We're Alaskan. We're Asian. <laughs> is there anything she ain't? Sane. There you go. <laughs> uh, my, my final thought would be if everybody out there, if, if you are wondering should i stalk somebody please stalk legal vices and not what the hell is <laughs> yeah. he's stalkable yeah. we're not stalkable listen you listen need yoda and strawberry if you stalk yeah. listen listen <laughs> we already have our stalkers okay legal vices needs a good stalker stalk him yeah just, good luck finding me over here in korea <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we all right. Let's shut down our poll here. How did the movie poll end up? The the like and subscribe movie poll. The title of the movie only four percent like Septic Boy in the Swamp of Despair. I like that one. That was kind of my fave. That was kind of good. I, one. I, I guess Septic Boy is just not too much of a central figure. Or but, they don't uh, understand where Septic Boy came from. Yeah, sixteen percent said the forty faces of Lynette from Mars. Uh, Twenty three percent said Attack of the Stripper Preacher. That was my second favorite. And Judge Grudge and the Tortoise Queen had 56%. So that's what we have to call the movie. If there's ever, if there's ever a movie made, DUI guy says commence stalking. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Larry, I'm stalking your ass for getting me involved in this in the first place. <laughs> I'm watching, always watching. Uh, yeah. The, I, I just I want to thank you guys seriously for coming on here and, and sharing a good laugh, get, getting some more of the lore, getting my head straight on a few things, and just get, getting to getting to meet you guys and getting to know a little bit more about you. I, I sincerely appreciate it, and I appreciate your followers here. We we're ending up with like twenty nine hundred people watching. We got almost eighteen hundred likes. We've picked up God uh, eight hundred and about forty six subscribers in the last. 23 hours. Hold a second. Hold a second. Man, I don't know how you do that. Let me check. <laughs> we lost 10. Oh my goodness. Oh. Would you people teach us how to do this? <laughs> yeah, just uh, you know, just grift off the misfortunes of others. It works. <laughs> and thank you, everybody that sent money to me because you like them. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Please continue to do that. Show, show me how much you really, really like them. No, seriously, chat, thank you so much for the, the huge support you showed. Thank you. For, even if you don't do the super chats, the memberships, whatever, thank you for just being here and keeping each other entertained. And I'll, I'll, I love my chat and I love your chat because they both know where the line is. I, my mods do nothing but just be cool because they don't have to do anything because the chat is awesome. Your chat is awesome. And uh, th thanks mods for being super mods. And the hails, Jeremy and George, thank you 
so much and uh, hope we hope we have a chance to do this again under better circumstances when we, we can celebrate a victory or two somewhere down the line. Yeah, we'll have a mole cam by then. Yeah, let's do that. Do a mole cam. And and hopefully we we could we can have a firearm cam or something too by then. <laughs> Even though YouTube doesn't like that. We got to have a, a celebration. Thanks guys. Um we'll we'll send you off into the great uh, into the great beyond to get about your YouTube day. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow for a chill palate cleansing OJ Simpson murder closing arguments. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Uh, what the hails, OJ murder. Yeah. Let's just, hope ours doesn't go that route, okay? Yeah, no, def definitely don't want that. So, all right, everybody, thank you again. Thank you, George. Thank you, Jeremy. And thank you, everybody else. Thanks we'll for the invite. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.